Hello. Hope everyone is having a good day. <laughs> it's time for more of the bear. Let's see how that goes. There's a bit of loud birds outside. I hope they're not being too noisy. <laughs> what do you mean, quotation marks? Hello there. I've been informed that there's still plenty of game left, actually. Like I, like, like I said last time, I thought there was like only one case left and then maybe the finale, but... Uh, according to me, there's still uh, plenty of game left, so um, yeah, let, 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 let's just get this on the road, I guess. Let's just get this on the road. <laughs> Speaking of which, hello there. Oh, don't you jerry me. Leaving Guild Saiga. Monokuma Guild Junko. Then Leon got executed. Then Mono killed your hero. And then he got executed. So he got live because of the Nintendo notification. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Ifumi killed Taka, then Celeste killed Ifumi. Chat. If Umi's pants still bother me, just look, just look at that. It's, just looks so weird. Anyway. And then she got executed. Still, I like how she got like put on fire. And uh, Monokuma was like, no, this is not zany enough. We're gonna have to crash to uh, a fire truck in her face to actually level it up a little bit. And that brings us up to now. Nice recap here, by the way. The next morning, the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. Oh, right, I need to... I keep forgetting that I need to move these acrylic figures in front of my monitor because they look like parts of the, di the dialogue box. So now there's only five of us here. <sighs> only a third of the number of people we started with. Indeed. Loneliness has become commonplace. <laughs> That's true. Still. What did I see yesterday? <laughs> I don't understand. Sakura's the mastermind spy? Can that really be true? There's probably something funny going on with this. Kodo, are you okay? Ah, no, I'm fine. You can't bring it up now in front of the others. Why not? It's like probably the best moment you could bring it up, isn't it? If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Okay. Okay, in that case, let's eat till we pass out. Huh? And gas donuts. What do you mean, in case? Because, I mean. Well, because look at how scary everyone looks. It's got to be because you're all fighting on enemy's stomach, right? If you fill your belly, I'm sure you'll cheer up, so let's eat. Okay. Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat, eat, eat until we can stand up. Fish and. What kind of fucking combination is this? Fish and donuts. What? what? It's like Deep Impact, spa, uh, impact Style, Meteor Impact, Extinction Level. Uh, uh, Extinction level event com a combination of food. Huh? Hmm? That is both breakfast time. Uh, those are both breakfast time top sellers. Oh, I can't, I can't talk again. God damn it. <laughs> Still, till we can send up part is a problem. After we'd gone, we need to go explore. I see. That's right. Since the class drill is over, new area should have opened up. It's true. Plus, we still have alter ego. We don't, uh, we don't have to give it to this bad just yet. She's right. We have to plan ahead and think about the future. You got it. Yeah, I think happy thoughts. No, d no def deffy thoughts. I see you know. Like when we're gonna get out of here, right? For serious. When this is all over, I think I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get reborn for serious. I mean, reborn as someone serious. Well. Uh, are you okay? That sounds like something, something someone who's about to die would say. Hmm. I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there aren't going to be any more murders. Um... Yeah, that's what you think. Yeah, that's what you think. Hmm? What makes you so sure? According to the spirits. I predicted it last night. Since so it's revealed itself to me from the ear, there's no doubt about it. However... How accurate is your fortune telling anyway? How about that? I can usually hit 20 or 30% on a good day. Hmm. That seems really low. It's not like some well, yeah. mystery. It's not like it's ESP or, uh, or whatever. Of course I'm gonna have to, uh, gonna, only gonna get it right sometimes. The occult is bullcrap! <laughs> that, that voice line doesn't really fit with you, huh? I told you my fortune telling isn't, uh, isn't, some, isn't like some occult thing. So, um, Fortune telling isn't a cult? You got it all wrong. Not. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put it in the same cate category as a cattle mutilation. Huh? Cattle what? So. He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. Oh, yes. Actually. 
Uh, no, you're calling it an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it's happened to me. Um, hmm. Yeah, of course he got abducted by aliens and he got probed. Why the fuck not? Yeah, it seems to check out for him, alright. Uh, it all happened one day when I went to get a hamburger. It was a place I'd never been before. They claimed the bread is 100% all beef. So I got a burger to go and headed home. But... And before long, the, end is nice. the sky was filled with a mysterious blinding light. Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked yeah. onto my hamburger. Oh no, not my hamburger. Alien, aliens wanted burgie. And as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in midair. And then, still floating there, the entire burger started coming apart. One part of it just vanished. Well, the rest fell back into my hand. Do you realize what that means? It means the burger wasn't 100% beef. It must have had some pork or something mixed in. You can make that conclusion of all things. Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. All right, then. You can't trick me. So I stopped back into the burger place and got up in the manager's grill, and they totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef, they totally mixed in ground pork with it. How about that? How do you see? Dead is cattle mutilation. I kinda got lost halfway through. <sighs> Can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You stink of stupidity. Don't be mean! I stink of- how dare you! <sighs> well, you do stink though. Hmm. That's fine. <gasps> That's fine? Uh, anyway. I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah! Me neither. I mean, I never would. I would never. Of course. Me neither. Indeed. No, I. That goes for me too, of course. I would, would never kill any of my friends. But what if your friends told you to kill, huh? I felt like this was of encouragement, uh, encouragement for helping us to come together as one. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we'd finally become united. But. Well. To be honest, I miss Bjorki and Toko here for this too. But. But just so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. <sighs> Yeah, we're better off without him, I say. It was enough to prove. We were united for the time being. Uh, within that bond had weakness and fragility. Also, apologies? Oh. Well, he's not going to be involved in this one, apparently. We began our search as soon as we finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find out that it opened up and what was waiting for us. Now, first off, no, oh, this is still closed. Hmm. I figured this would open it sometime, but I guess not. Maybe it's just going to be the last thing to open then. First, I'm going to gamble some coins away though. Need to get all those presents, you know. So is everyone in chat being today? Well, not, not being, how are you doing, I should say. I hope everyone's having a fine day. The Mono Mono Machine, alright, let's go. 90 coins now. Aliving, hmm. Sounds very promising. Could be here for a while. Belt is new or whatever it was. What the hell is that? Seaweed? Probably. Smoke cola. Maybe I should start using multiple coins here. That's just a rock. Why is there a rock in the gacha machine? That's just a steam deck. What's our helicopter flying around right now? So looking for shiny gaming girl? Trust me, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Like a barely any different. So 
Same me, but do you think it's the, 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 um, the, the percentage that I should start using multiple coins in order to bypass it? 80? 90? Not even sure how much uh, percentage is one item is actually. Little rock, nice. So many rocks and leaves in this thing. Might make the squiggly sound if it doesn't even do anything. When is this? Now it does. Mm, stop giving me dupes. Stop giving me dupes. I'd like to get 100% on this thing, but I'm not sure if it's actually going to work. It's going to be quite a pain to do so, at least. So the weather is voted or not you, I'm accepting the challenge. Ah, eh, fair enough. Why am I getting so much rocks? It's better be some special rock you're giving me, mate. Every time I see that game console pop up, I'm just like thinking back of the shitty uh, handheld things we had like back in the 90s and the early 2000s. Like these fake Tetris machines. I my mom used to love those things, like th 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 these fake handheld things that are like really cheap, they don't have like Tetris on them. Now I'm getting some rocks ready to crush. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, the, what was that? What, what, what was that? A hand bra? Just some papers. I'm worry about it. I am worrying about it. I don't want to get demonetized. Come on now. Because they're going to have like 50 coins left. It's about, it's about halfway in. No, uh, 90, so more than that. I might still find new coins on the next floor anyway. Stop giving me weapons. Keeps giving me weapons, huh? I wonder if this also exists in the second and the third game. Oh my! Let's throw some extra coins in. Oh, that didn't help. It really ain't helping. It's just another rose. When it comes to one time, I feel I need to spend more time with Kyogo. I think she still has a good skill for me. I'm not sure about that. Miko, you've lost your orb again. And another cheap console, alright. Let's leave it at that. Alright, let's go to the fourth floor. Why was it judging there? Huh. Am I going too fast? Also, I saw an article earlier. Um, no, uh, apparently, the uh, the Arkham trilogy that was coming to the Switch is only um, Arkham Asylum that's on the cartridge. The rest you have to download. Now, I can't say I'm surprised, but I'm still disappointed at least. 
don't think I was going to get it anyway for the uh, for the switch today. Uh, just as expected though. What the hell is going on with the floor here? So now we have access to the fourth floor, the fourth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. Maybe this time I'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it. Still fifth floor though. Music room, class president. There's a monokuma room there. Chemistry lab. Hmm. Stick your toilets first, shall we? Wow, there's nothing in here. There's also another camera in here. Hmm. Why does it feel like this floor is lagging me? I can feel my frame stanking while I'm walking over this floor. What is this? Music room. That's not a music room, that's a wall of stage. This is a music room. It's hardly even a classroom as well, like an actual concert hall. This is a grand piano. Seems really old, I bet it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone who around who can play, it is so truly useless. Yeah, we don't really have any, uh... Well, I mean, I guess... I guess Saika was the music, uh, the music person in this group, huh? Some of the Monaco's Monaco being, uh, being a scout of it won't do any good, but just ignoring it. I just need to do my job in this room. CPs. Like, there isn't really a gifted music person in this group of, um, of kids. I mean... Psych, I'm as an idol, so that's like the, the most adjacent to it, but... Surveillance camera, I just, I just don't think I'll ever get used to it. I mean, who could get used to being watched 24-7? Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So... What about the secret room in the boys' bathroom? Ah. Well, I did find a secret room, but... As soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? Uh, they came from behind, so and I don't have any. I, I didn't have any time to react, so I don't, didn't see who it was. And when I came to, the mountains of files and documents were all gone. Oh, I'm sorry, I know how important those were. That's fine. It's okay. I already saw what I need to do in there. Bye. And I half suspected the mastermind might come after you. What? Because when I discovered the room, the mastermind must have seen me on surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go to the boys' bathroom and now come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the Mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the Mastermind actually knew about the room. It would seem... But to attack you and still have everything in the room, that must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could have revealed the Mastermind's identity. Then you knew, I don't, then you knew I was going to get attacked. That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing though. After all, you are a boy. What does he think a boy is? Fine, I understand. Now let me ask you something. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said you must not leave. Just a second. Uh, we shouldn't talk about that, not here. Kick us all a quick glance at the surveillance camera. So... I'm looking into it. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have any, any say in the matter. So then... So now it's your turn. Let me, let's me let hear your secret. Hmm? Hmm. Don't you think I wouldn't know? Did you hiding Am something? I Am I wrong? That's... Hmm? Oh, right. Where's the back one dropping here? What? What's the matter? If you worry about the camera, then why just not write it down? Uh, well... Hey. We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right that there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but... There's nothing worse than expressing doubt after your friends when you have evidence for it. Mm, it's taller, I guess. Hopefully this doesn't impact anything. I haven't found conclusive evidence yet. If you talk about it now, it could just make things that much worse. Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt. Fine. So I can tell you not yet. Correct. So that's your answer. However. But do you think that's fair? You're happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're willing to share. I'm sorry, I really am. That's fine. It's fine. Goodbye. Bye bye. It was a supporting words Kyoko left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. That reminds me, I need to check the items that I've gotten from the uh, the machine. Um Curry pack made for kids, it's made with expensive high quality ingredients you wouldn't expect from kids food. I see. 
plus in bracelet. And Crawford and I didn't meet with Needle on Fred, they said, when she put a dumb will never come up again. Right. Souls Diamond. Brand name Diamond, popular, uh, popularly used in engagement drinks, although this one's just an invitation. <laughs> hand bra. A bra designed to slip over your hands. It's slogan, raise your hands, raise your spirit. I, I see. I see. Oh yes, I wonder who we should have given this, huh? Dumbbell weed? That's not what I expected with the mouse. Try to plant scene in, West in many Western films and you pile up around your yard you toss them over a cliff or something. I, I see. A cliff, huh? Rose whip. A whip made from real roses, even the most beautiful rose has spawns. I see. The point for this for some unknown reason doesn't let you hit a person on the other hand and doesn't let him hear you. I'm not sure I've already got that one yet or not. Moonwalk! A rock taken from the sea from tranquility on the moon by the astronauts on Apollo 11. This composition is apparently unusual for how it was found. Goddamn Lunarians. Goddamn Lunarians. Think book that is instant coach for every game ever released unless I find a true game fanatic. I must be very fake down if it's that big game in there. Nothing else, huh? Really not missing that much now. Man, I wonder if all these items are still like from. I mean, it could be from executions. There's more people remaining than there is ex uh, than, than than items you can get. Hmm. Mm. One probably just is forgetting the ending there now. Uh, what else do we have here? That monster. The name plate on the door says Headmaster Rooms, Headmaster's Rooms. There must be something worthwhile in there. Of course it's locked. Ah, oh, the door's locked, damn it. Can't say I'm surprised at that being locked, to be honest. Ew, that's a lot of flowers. Alright, oh, it's another picture. This is the office, but of course there's no hint any teachers that we normally uh, be able to rely on. Alright, Monokuma's going to snatch this one up again. Just like put it away but in, in, instead of looking at it. Huh? There's a picture on the floor. This picture. Mm hmm, what? So let's see if we were inside again. Smiling faces of three people who are dead now. Classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. And Monokuma's going to show up. Oh, not yet. Just like the picture I saw before. Snowing this isn't important somehow. Don't stare at it, put it in your pockets before Monokuma shows up and steals it. Come on now. The smiling the way you expect from any normal teenager to smile. Just a normal group of high scores living a normal school life. I can't possibly really uh, believe that they're able to smile like this in a world of despair like this. So does it mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope Speak? Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here. Including Saika. No, there's no way. Monokuma did this. Must be fake. Yeah. <laughs> You're fake. Monokuma popped out of nowhere and snatched a picture from my hand. <laughs> a forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on. Then you're saying this picture is real? Hey, um... If there was such a thing as a noble proof prize, I'd take the first, second and fourth place. Why not the third one? Actually, that's probably not true. I'll ask you a question, is this picture real or is it fake? Mm. Oh, Makoto, you're so you can split things in half, aren't you? Hey, um... But it's no use. It's no use. <laughs> what do you think you are, Mima? If you try to split something that can't be split, you end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's true. The picture is real, no more, no less. <laughs> <laughs> but now another word when come disappeared. So the picture is real. Is it really real? If that's true. If that's the case. Yes. Damn. Oh, right. God, why do so much things to check here? 
a flower on the desk. So it makes things feel that much weirder. Nice, another coin. I was hoping that would be the uh, well thing before though. Spills camera, I could use of it. One of the monitors. Just ignore it. It's flowing on this, so it makes things look weirder. Or all these all just flowers that I interact with. It's a flower. It's a bunch of free coins, I guess. No, uh, that's the same flower I already saw. Um, it's a flower. It's a coin. Why are the flowers on the desk though? Something else in here. Um, right, this room here. What did I have? Well, well. No good, it looks like I guess we won't be getting in here. Couldn't do the nameplate, it's called the data center. Dress behind the door is a little mystery. Figure we're going to be opening those soon enough. What good does it do opening the uh one day someone the Kuman class? Um I just want to go away eating there. So uh, let's not worry about it. Yeah. I'm glad this floor opened up and all, but it was like a ton of locked rooms up here. Pretty much. This clock. Let's use a diamond here. Surveillance camera. Metal plates. Even an ultimate can destroy this plate unless you have the ultimate super power moves. I see. Why is there a painting of Monokuma eating someone in the back there? What the hell's going on with this floor though? Wait, there's floor to that. Hello, I'm Monokuma from the school store. I'm very kind, you can drop your coins and come play with me. Or I might die of loneliness. Look, look at him lurking over here. Chat, what is it? Oh, of course, I said, of course. There's something else in here. And I don't think any of these uh, classrooms have actually amounted to anything. Uh, there's the, uh, the chemistry lab here, and that's about it. Inside room, the smell of medicine was oppressive. So this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do permanent damage. <laughs> so little things you can investigate here. Spill camera. Yeah, give me coin. ABC. So we walk on a big shelf and stocked with all kinds of medicine. That's right. Now listen, Makoto. Listen. Just take me, take a deep breath, and calm down and listen to me. Okay, now just chill out. There's all kinds of stuff here that we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine. Okay. And what? They even have pro pro protein zyme X. What's that? Hey! It's a high quality protein drink. It's nothing like a cheap swill in a warehouse. It's connoisseur level. I see. Oh yeah? <sighs> this is amazing. It's a gold mine. Ah, my prayers have finally been answered. Time to load up some more prayers then. A gold mine, huh? I'm really taking a good look at the things around here. It's a lot to think about, but for now we should head back to the dining hall and talk to the others. Not long after I got to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a few minutes... Still, those, mm. still missing Toko and Byakuya, huh? 
So, this is everyone. Well then. Okay, let's discover what we all discovered. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Not a lot to explore this time around. Hmm. There's a big shelf in the camel up on the fourth floor and all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay. And it was an all-star cost of nutrient, ad nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least go take a peek, I highly recommend it. I think you and Nogu are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Hmm. Oh, but it's not all good stuff though. There's medicine and health stuff on the top of that. Um. There's also uh, a bunch of different poisons, of course. Poison? Mm. We're all labeled clearly though, so it would be hard to grab by my mistake. Someone is going to grab on by mistake and kill someone. He <laughs> he. It's true. Still, we better make sure we be careful, uh, be careful around there. Um, and you probably shouldn't tell Biako to talk about the poisons, right? Huh? What do you mean? Well, well just in case. You, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, um, just in case. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, come, come on, we've already established that uh, Genocide Jack is not going to kill with anything else but scissors. Stop, stop trying to think she's actually going to do anything. Yeah, I think you're right. However, it's Miyaki. It won't be long before he's discovered it for himself. But if there's something as dangerous as poison right out in the open, it's absolutely the work of the mastermind. I can't leave now. Oh. Hmm. Found a couple of rooms on the fourth floor, but they're locked. The data center and the headmaster's room. Ah. The headmaster's room. This is exactly like the kind of place we'd find some clues. If you can somehow unlock the door and get inside. But. Interesting thing you just said. Mm. Who cares about a stupid lock? How about that? There should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. <laughs> what was that? What? what? <laughs> oh, please, continue. <laughs> Did you say I've got the nicest butt on the block? The curviest hips in town? Is that what you said? What the heck? Oh no I didn't! Hey! Then what did Come you say? Because I know you weren't talking about tying down the room to the headmaster's, uh, door to the headmaster's room. <laughs> Unbelievable. Knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of moral education are you trying to start here? Your teacher That's had my such room, you know. You. It's now anyway. Did you think of bursting it down? With betrayal? The seals you don't want to piss me off. Do you have any idea how much of bacteria live on a single back huh? uh, um, No, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. Yeah, I'm not mad. <laughs> why the fuck is it? Why? Why the fuck is the face there? Oh, okay, that's great. That's great. I'm not mad. Emoji. What? what? You're totally mad. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Chat, why are we doing this all of a sudden? Like, why are we doing this? Where's this coming from? Am I being cheeky? Was it? Was this in the in, in the in the Steam version as well? I was hoping I would have done the rule for this, but if you're going to have a, uh, going to have a ride having no starts, Ta -da! I have no choice but to add to school to the school regula the school regulations. Seriously. Too bad. Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There, it's a rule now, you jerks. New rule has been added to regulation <sighs> menu. Thanks, Jasayiru. Thanks. Is he gone? <sighs> no. Man, he's scared from my life. I'm sure he's gonna kill me for serious. Well. But if we go out with a way to make up a new rule like that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in that master's room. But now that there is a rule, there's nothing we can do. Yeah, why don't you open your goddamn mouth? You should have, should have just gone there. Huh. Metal sheets have been attached to the windows on the fourth floor, none of them pushed an inch. In other words, just like everywhere else. Mm. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. Um, Kyoko, she's ignoring me. So, hey, Makoto, does Kyoko seem upset to you? That's right. She isn't, isn't she? She's totally mad. Yeah, it looks like it. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. No, oh, this is bad. Hmm. So has everyone said what they needed to say? Hmm. I think so. For serious. But it looks like nobody found any, any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. Uh -huh. Everyone is oppressed. My house burned down to the ground. So, dude, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on in your life, dude? Someone, do something to cheer me up. Uh, can I say something? How about that? It's because my dad was smoking in bed. That's no, I, I have something I'd like to report. 
So you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found a picture on the third floor the other day? Perhaps. You mean the one that you had more than you and Lean all together, right? Huh? Yeah, I remember. What about it? I found another one, another picture, almost just like that one. Huh? Another one. But this time the picture was of Celeste, Fumi, and Sayaka. Huh? Hmm? The girl was smiling. And the closet room in the picture didn't have any metal plates covering the windows. <sighs> so the picture of Mondo Chihiro Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found one that Celeste, uh, Celeste Fumi, and Sayaka. But... but how can that... Conspiracy! Monokuma must have faked it. But if the picture is real... Then everyone who was in it... There would have to be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. What? Can be, it's a fake. But Monokuma said it was real. I know the, I know we could just write it off as a lie, but... So then... Then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died? Hmm. Because... That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, that's not it. I'm shocked you told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refuse to do the same. That's not... What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? Because you didn't fucking tell her, you cunt. Don't understand why she's so angry. Hey, come, come on, on, guys, stop fighting. Or all your good luck is gonna float away. Anyway, Makoto, you think about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake a picture. Of course. It's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. You might be right, but still. Are you still so conflicted? What? Looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. I'm Biakio. Yeah. <laughs> you all have the same sunken look on your faces. You were also ugly before. You shouldn't let it sink any lower. <laughs> when I look at you, it makes me think of a fork sinking into a pile of manure. Poor fork. You know? I'm sorry. Just a second. Why are you apologizing? What the heck? Leave us alone, you're not a part of this. That's right. It's true enough, your problems aren't mine. We are and always will be completely separate. So whatever causing your faces to turn ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if it happened to discover a vital clue, it, I, I, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Hmm? Huh? Did you find any you say something useful? Hey. Be okay, what have you been up to? That's fine. Don't mind telling you, perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do some good. Such ignorance. Oh, it's in a bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? You were sticking a bath? Is he saying he's been done to alter ego? Did he tell him something? It would seem... Maybe we should go, I'll go take a bath. Mm. Ah, good idea. Hmm. A mixed bath? Okay. A mixed bath? If alter ego really didn't tell him something. I wonder what it could have been. I would talk to me alter ego Dr. Biakia anyway. He's an asshole. Let me save while I'm ahead here. Oh, you are too. When I got to the dressing room. Toko was sitting alone on a bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come here with Alter Ego to say too? What's your problem? I already heard it, but Master. Master. <laughs> with Master? <sighs> Smirk face. You don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, so what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up, stop bothering me. How about that? Get out of the way, we have to talk to Alter Ego. Oh, wow. No, I made Master a promise. Mm. A promise? <laughs> Master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. Huh? Right, are you? Where, where are you, his dog? It's a master once, I'll do anything he asks. Yeah, you're just all being mistreated. Oh, fine. If you really want me gone, I'll buy But by all means. Oh, so we're just switching personality up on sneezing now, huh? I see. Hey, guys, what's going on? Hmm? We'd like you to move. Yes! Sure thing. Just kneel before me and back. What? What? First a mega masochist, now a super sadist. Uh... Are you here? Um, Toko, seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let you use the laptop. Hmm? Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and bag. How about that? Come on, Makoto, give her the old one two combo. One drop to your knees, two beseech. Why are you acting like you're not part of this? I was as desperate as I felt that finally I did kneel on, uh, down in front of her and I said, Please, I'm begging you, would you please have a seat and use the laptop? <laughs> Such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pent up anger at my master with a anger at master for abusing me is evaporated. Oh. So even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That you be enough, right? Her open let's talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> okay. 
I might have dropped that anthem else first, but I think it's going to be different now. Hey, Kyoko! Still ignoring me. Yeah. Good job, Dennis. <laughs> Good job, Kyoko! That was some real top tier bagging. Uh. What kind of relationship do you and Toko even have anyway? Don't worry about it. So then. Here's my main concern. Well, what is your main concern? Tell me. Everyone, come closer. I already told Piyaki about it. I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on his laptop. So I'd have to keep you all waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Uh, um. I'm suddenly get kind of nervous. I felt the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands started to shake. Just a second. No. Oh. Single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded, I moved to, uh, to let him take over. So then. Here we go. Kyoko began typing the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Leave it to me. Sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particularly important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Hope Speak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated, that was the stated goal of the plan. But it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. That's I see. It's exactly the situation we find ourselves in. Hey. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was no other than the administrators of Hope Speak himself. Huh? What? Hold on. Then the reason we've been in prison here, it wasn't the work of some psycho freak or crimin uh, or criminal organization or whatever. No way! It was the school itself. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps you should hear the rest. That's right. Seems that the reason what ha what they deserved this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they described the event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, tragic event in human history. Huh? What does that mean? Wh what? What kind of name is that for something? Mm -hmm. Otherwise known as the Trilogy. It was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the Trilogy. God, I, I fucking can't. Because of the Trilogy. Well... Hope Speak Academy is forced to discontinue, uh, discontinue his role as a school and close down. I see. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is, one year ago this thing, this strategy, took place. And whatever it was, it forced Hope Speak Academy to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staking ground. That's right. They planned to sequester the students here, where they, uh, where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, but um, why would Hope speak up Hope speak administrators want to do uh, should uh, should have run in like that? Hey. And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash joke I typed that questions into the computer. And the answer we got was Sorry. Sorry, I don't know. If any information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless, I'm sorry. And that's all he said. What? What? Then this really is the end. We can halfway through the answer and that's it. Indeed. It would appear so, disappointing. Wait. Oh wait. No. There's one thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? Gogo's fingers move even faster than he had so far. Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? Sorry. No, that I still don't know, but I did find a clue, I think. The one leading Hope Speak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope Speak headmaster, no shit. So the same person may very well be the mastermind who planned it all out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. It seems possible, even now, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. The headmaster? And the headmaster is here in the school? Doubt okay. it. Unless he's locked into the headmaster's room, but... Then it's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, when the school be calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. For serious? Why are, you, why, why are you staring at me like that? But if we bring out the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I... I'll find a way. Huh? Hmm? I... I mean... They said break down the door, they didn't say anything about lockpicking now, did they? Hee <laughs> hee. No matter what it takes, I will find a headmaster. No matter what? No matter what it costs. So... Kyoko, um... what's going on? It's a father or something, isn't it? I... I can't explain why, I just know that I have to find him. She has to. Rotunda rope found the guy. What's going on with you? When you showed about the headmaster, your reaction was almost violent. So then. We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. 
It seemed to be her attempt to regain composure, and she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry, that's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. Sorry. I'm really sorry. <sighs> then it really is all over. Hey. Right, all the community seems to have more to say. So, um... Uh, well... It's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Um... I haven't seen the last Tifumi Otaka since yesterday. <laughs> a heavy silence fell across the room. I haven't heard this before, did I? New song, finally, after six streams. The only sound was a flat, precise clicking of the keys as Kyoko typed. But well, that. Huh? What? Um, I see. I certainly knew that was a possibility, but okay, then. it really happened. Sorry. No, sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I cannot do anything about. Anyway. Well then, I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that has so much meaning. I should begin typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. then maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kinda tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. We take the laptop in sleep mode. I see. So Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. You don't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But... But I feel kinda sorry for him. But... I feel sorry, but he's just a computer program, right? Well... I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. I mean, yeah, I did, but that's what a computer program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer good job every time you shut it down, do you? No, not really. I only swear against it when it has, like, issues, though. Hmm. Well, no. But when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean, I feel the same way. Hey. Hey, come on, it's just a program. You can't tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? But, you know, what's the difference between us and a program, really? Huh? Oh no, he's getting madder. Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person and an AI. Oh no, this this is getting dangerous. Alter Ego isn't human, I know that. It's just a program running on the computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as a friend. That's right! Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> then there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends the merrier, right? How about that? Check this out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival. So... Uh, so anyway. What? What? Don't so anyway, Dad. There's a totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from I don't remember where. Hey. Anyway, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. Let's search his role and this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease in which you decide who and who isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego has said one more time. Uh, um... Yeah, good idea. What was the hope speak start thinking? Why are they making us kill each other? Hmm. Alter Ego said that what happened one year ago is what started everything. Well. Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? I swear to god if it's going to be something stupid. It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen a year ago? Uh, um. I don't remember anything happening that, could you, that you could describe that way. What about you guys? <laughs> don't really watch the news, so... I'm sorry. Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway... Trying to light up the closing of Hope's Peak. At the very least... If nothing else, I must have some kind of connection to this school. Pro probably a student of this school uh, like committed a murder or something and I was like, Oh no, our image has been tarnished. We're doomed. What? What? Maybe all the students here were killed or something. However... That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. <laughs> then maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us knew what, 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 what the school had been shut down. I see. Totally cover up something like that, but I suppose it's not totally impossible. What the heck? What's wrong with our government? Like taxes pay the salaries, they should be handling stuff like that. Yeah. Anyway. Don't, don't ask me where the taxes are going, bro. I don't, I don't know either. Maybe, but right now there's only one path to, uh, uh, open to us. So... We have to find the headmaster, the headmaster of Oaks Peak Academy. Correct. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what. As long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko, when she said headmaster, got that feeling again. Well. But even that problem is not so easily solved. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business is done here, so for now we should get out of here. Uh, um, oh, yeah, good idea. Yep. Die. Got you. Huh? huh? Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm, I'm not guarding it. Vyaka's <laughs> gonna, gonna be so mad at me. Uh, let's avoid getting in any further. Good call. 
Let's, let's not bother with her. Why is he suddenly like changing ego from uh, from sneezing instead of seeing blood though? What the hell is up with that? This is another hint. But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. Ba -bam, ba -bam. My heart is pounding, pounding away. It's pounding with anger. <laughs> you're, you're not so mad about it all breaking into the headmaster's room thing, are you? Bzz. Oh, that little matter doesn't even matter a little. I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an indecent mixed bath, but that doesn't matter either. Yeah. It's building. I feel it building. Now My hat's about to boil over with rage. Angry. Please. You get so angry. Here, let me help center your chakra. That's just on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. What? We didn't do anything to him now. Also, looking at the door of the bathhouse, this fucker can just look inside and see us talk to a laptop that he doesn't know about. Like, how is this hiding something? It doesn't. A fang for a fang. Be careful, you just chanted the incantation of devastation. No, it's just a saying. Hmm. Oh, I see. But what's he talking about? I guess someone pissed him off in the meanwhile. What, what did Biakia do? Someone fucked with the bear and found out, I guess. <coughs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. We're really getting mired out of this clip, aren't they? Correct. So it's night time. Hey. What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested a nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Mm. No, I think we should still avoid being out at night time. I know it makes me feel a little better that way. Uh, uh, I agree. It's true. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. So everyone headed back to their rooms. When I come spotting, I was left me feeling anxious the rest of the night. Once I was back in my room, I got lost in thought. What you learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my mind. The administrator, administrators of Hope's Peak had planned all of this. They did it because of the strategy that happened one year ago. I, I, I really just can't pronounce that fucking word, can I? Apparently the headmaster was the one behind it, the mastermind. You know, maybe I can pronounce it because the Dutch G is so weird. That must be it. And all the mysteries make me worried, but I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road, the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Monica might die. Alright, what do you have this time? A crab? Why did you get a crab? Let's talk a bit where I was, uh, where I was at before I became a bear. At first I was a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in a tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, a shrimp. Shrimp, shrimp fried, right? She was like, oh the company's been trying to push for this forever. It's a really incredible offer. But as soon as she laid out the details it turned out. It wasn't a tiger prawn like they'd hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. It's totally tiny. It would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I don't want to be one myself. So someone might come along and step on me. So then the, 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 the lady totally started laughing at me. She was like, you think we can do a tiger prawn on our budget? So most of me I decided to become a bear instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. Thanks, that didn't tell us anything. That didn't tell us anything. Also, dude, why the fuck is your lint roll still on the floor? At least put it somewhere else. Good Aww. morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. So this is where we're going to get like two, two sections of free day, I guess. First thing first, I need to go to the dining hall. Need some extra time. Probably save first. I should save more regularly, I don't really do it that much. Hmm. What are you guys doing here? 
What do you want? Well, by the breakfast meeting. That's enough. You also expect me to go? Right. Well, as long as I'm here, we should ask Bjarke what he made, uh, what he made up the stuff Alter Ego told us. Actually, no, I'd better not, as if else can would catch us for sure. What? So? Oh, uh, well. Goodbye. Hmm. He's gone. Friendly as always. Friendly as always. Good morning, hey, Ina. Makoto. Morning. <laughs> hey, so yesterday you were kind of cool. Hmm? What do you mean? Yeah! You know, when you said Alter Ego was your friend. So, um... I was thinking the same thing. But when stuff like that happens, I never know how to, to, to say what I'm thinking. You got it! So I'm really glad you said it for me. So thanks. Hmm. You're welcome. Yeah! You're usually like totally normal, but when the time comes, bam, you bust out your special power. I mean, I'm... even before yesterday, when stuff comes up, it's like, you always do something about it. Even before yesterday, are you talking about cholesterols and stuff? I mean, this stuff is just... I think you just kind of took care of it yourself, you know? Hmm. You totally didn't. Um... With your power on Sakuras and everyone else, I'm sure we'll get out of here. No, I think you're right. Okay. Am I right? Alright. Then if you've got a fighting spirit, let's go get some grub. She's right, even if the road is long. You don't, if you don't keep on moving forward, we'll never reach our goal. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's going to be the next uh, victim because... Every time someone shows up in like the, uh, the, the, the chapter image, like they end up dying, so... As I entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. <laughs> what are you staring at? Oh, Toko. What's your problem? What, you think your eyes will roll by just looking at me? Fine, then don't, then don't look at me. I think he's just surprised to see you at the breakfast meeting is all. Indeed, it's been quite a while since you joined us. Um... Yeah, but made you change your mind. Biaki said he likes a girl who left him some meat on her bones, so... God damn it. She's gonna call and start eating. I'm gonna force it down into my stomach. I'm gonna eat until I drop. Okay. I refuse to lose. That's... I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko isn't here. You know? Oh, she said she come by later. Later? You know? Yeah, after you leave. <laughs> she's not even trying to hide it anymore. Hmm. I know she said she wanted to show some backbone, but it didn't need to show it that much. Just a second. You don't even go, though, dirty. President of Dirty Dirtlandia. What? You don't understand? Just the worst. You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not like that. <laughs> Just shut up already, you know. You've been running your filthy mouth like that all morning. Filthy? Me? <laughs> no, make me repeat myself. Huh? I'm not filthy. It's not you denying it. We can all see how disgusting you are. Huh? Shut up. Uh... You and that lusty body of your... Why are you looking so pleased with that? Huh? Uh, and you and that lusty body of yours. Night after night, you go out for illicit club meetings. Oh! Hey, knock it off. I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. Your midnight... <laughs> Chat, what the fuck is that word? Sex, sex, sex extracurricular activities? Only put us even more danger. P please! Stop it! You'd like me to stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands gripping the bit. <laughs> what the fuck is this? The big fat jolk ties. Going for all that extra credit. He screams at a screech of a violated blackboard. What the fuck is this? And, and? Uh, that's amazing. Indecent ideas are coming to me one after another. Chat, and here I thought he flew me was the, uh, the, the, the perverted one. What is this? Bastard. So would you rather have your black eye on the left or the right? <laughs> ah, sorry, sorry. Hey, Let's leave Toko alone. She's got a little funny from all the bent of frustration. You know? Anyway, you're going to need to make up already, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, of course, I want, to uh, want things to get better as soon as possible. But with everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk about it, but I saw. Before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. Really? You think that's a smart idea? She's likely just to punch you in the face and you die. <laughs> Cheer up, man. It's not a big deal if a girl doesn't like you. It's better than having one sue you, like I did. Chat, the more he saves, the more I wonder what the fuck this guy is doing in life. Like, house burning down? Alien stealing his hamburger? Being sued by a girl? Like, what the fuck is he doing? No, I understand why this is for certain audiences. Yeah. 
No, the motor is totally fine. It, it, it's it's Toko running her motor too much. She's here. You lived a pretty brutal life. Huh? Uh, I feel all dizzy. Seriously, I can't handle dirty stuff like that. Looks like Hina had an unexpected weakness. Huh? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. If you want to hit someone, hit monster. Please hit him. Oh, please, please let me watch you hit him. I think it's best to stay far, far away from her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sakura, what is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Oh, now that Kyoko dumped him, Makoto's trying to win Sakura's heart. Are <laughs> oh, you in heat, Makoto? Don't be careful how long as long as I've got the right equipment. Watch out, Sakura. Makoto's transformed into a wild beast. Prime Minister Wild Beast of Mistopia. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? Well. Can I cannot talk wait until tomorrow? I'd like to get some rest today. Ugh. For some reason, I've been feeling really worn down these last few days. Huh? Hmm? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? Mm. No, nothing serious. I just had some minor aches and pains. Hmm? Is that. There we go again, with this scene. Just because of the battle. Um. But it must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay? Mm. I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. You got it! That's true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff. Hey. You guys like worship protein. It's like your god or something. Okay. Makoto, I don't know what it is when you talk about Sakura about, but even tomorrow, she's in pain. Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry. No? Well, for now, let's eat. <sighs> eat? I'm kind of nervous. Huh? Hmm? How come? What's your problem? Because I don't usually eat in front of all the people. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I'd eat by myself. What the heck? What about your family? <clears throat> oh, well, yeah, I used to live with my dad and mom. And my, and my mom. <laughs> what, you had two moms? <laughs> what? That's just how things were. <laughs> That's like a serious issue. <sighs> uh, I just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved in it more than you have to. <laughs> how dare you speak to me with a disgusting <laughs> mouth of yours? Stop saying stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and eat. If I don't, Kyoko will never show up. Yeah. Pretty miserable situation, man. <laughs> Scarfed on breakfast as fast as I could and went immediately back to my uh, back to my room. After I didn't tell to confront Sakura about what I saw, but in a way, I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face and face with Sakura and accuse her of something. Hey, I bet I can spend a day with her anyway, huh? Um. Might have said it was for mature audience. I don't know, new, new, new Twitch regulations, I guess. I don't bloody know. Also, low rat. Oh. Actually, no, I need a map. To see where the fuck everyone is. No, oh, Sakura's actually in the room and you can't interact with her. Huh. Okay. Usually I'm on like the new floor, right? Um... I know it's a bad idea, but I probably should spend some time with... Toko, I think, or um... Mr. Stoner over here. Because I haven't interacted with them at all. Well, let's just start with Toko, because I know we've got a gift you'd like. If I get a second one this day, I'll spend it with, uh, with, uh, with, with totally not Shaggy. <laughs> Makoto, are you leering at me? What, what are you thinking? Heck? What are you planning to do to me? Uh, I should have talked with so oh, Toko when she's acting like this. Uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna force you. It's perfectly happy spending time by myself. But I guess if you're so desperate for attention, I can hang out for a little bit. For a little bit. Spend some time with the golden distant Toko. Sounds about right. We're a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Yes, yeah, give him some scissors. Why is she looking so smug at me? I don't like this. Uh, which one would be better? Specialized upon styling designs with the edges. Skip this one, I guess. Why are you giving me this? Do you want me to throw it away for you? Throw it away? Throw away your own trash. I'm not your trash bitch. Uh, I don't think she was too happy with that. Uh oh. She's just standing there. Does she want something? But she's not saying anything. Maybe yeah, we should try to start a conversation. Um, Toko. <laughs> what, you wanna talk to me? Well, I can't stop you, so talk already. 
Okay, sure, but what should I say? So, what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> what do you want to know? Well, I mean, you know, we're trapped in here together, right? If we're going to be friends, it would be nice to get to, to, get to know each other. <laughs> what did you just say? Um, <laughs> that's the bottom of being trapped. You're gonna be what? Friends? Mm. <laughs> God damn it. I, I really don't like her. I, I know that I haven't spent any time with her at all, but I'm seriously regretting my choice here. What do you mean, friends? You think I'm stupid? You're trying to trick me. <laughs> I've already been hurt so once before, so I'm not gonna let it happen again. You've been hurt? What happened? Anyway. Come on, you don't really care about me. You don't want to know about me, even I know that. No, that's not true. <laughs> Fine, you tell me. Tell you what? <laughs> you know why they call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Yeah, sure, you want all kinds of literature prizes and stuff. <laughs> then tell me what I'm good at. Tell me what my genre speciality is. You really want to convince your, uh, you, you give a crap? You should at least know that. Oh no. Oh no, it's probably romance. It's romance, of course. Oh, you actually knew. No, that's just a good guess. Your biggest success was so ling as the ocean, right? Everyone says it's your masterpiece. The book was such a hit that fishermen shot to the top of hottest man's balls, right? Fish fear me, woman want me. <laughs> How did you know all that? There's no way you care about me. I'm telling you, I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? I'm blind. You switched forward with nature blinded me. No, oh, Doug ran off screaming like a banshee. Yeah. She would do that, wouldn't she? I'm not really sure. Does she hate me now? My port got upgraded. You just unlock a skillful vocabulary. Okay. Okay. We've got what we wanted from her. Now we can just let her rot. Okay. <laughs> I actually wonder if it's like a special dialogue. If it's like in, um, in a Genocide Jack persona. Hmm. Hello, the gags. Once we we're all done, I had to back to my room for a little while. But yeah, I don't mean... That means I don't have to bother with Toko anymore, so that's good. Once was enough. Plenty of time. Don't feel like just sitting here. Should go somewhere. I'm gonna save and I'm gonna add the Yasuhiro then. See what Shaggy has. Actually, um, can I see that? No, still only Saka that has like one star on that. That's all I remain. We've already checked the fourth floor, huh? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't the big floor. There wasn't really much going on there. I mean, maybe it's smarter if I, like, talk to Biaki and stuff, but... Hopefully Togo dies next, not just because of personality, because she wears glasses, fucking... Hey, I wear glasses! Oh, wait, people are down here now. Uh... Alright, Shaggy, it's your time. I mean, I don't really want to spend my time with Biaki either, but I think he's gonna be more important. This man is fucking huge! Look at this! I think I said it before, but Jesus Christ, he's massive. <sighs> What's going on, Makoto? I'm like super exhausted, so I hope you don't need anything from me. Should hang out with Hero for a while. Please. Please try and cheer me up, Makoto. I'm down in the dumps and I've got no energy at all. I did already spend time with him, I don't even remember. I did my best to cheer up a down and out Hero. I mean, I didn't spend any time with, uh, with Taka either, now he's dead, so... Hero and I grew a little closer today. Actually, same goes for Junko, like, didn't have much of a time with that either. What would you give to him? Uh, you would like a crystal skull, wouldn't you? Where am I crystal skull at? I know I have multiple of those. Is he usually looking at the wrong place? You mean the right place, now he's just you. This is your serious power. This is a true blue Upart. <laughs> Makoto, the dawn of a new era draws near. Seeing here so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Yo. Also, I'm pretty sure the um, uh, the intent was like changed with Toko, like that she didn't re she didn't like it at all, but she actually did like it with Tsundere and all that. Tiny <laughs> awkward vodka number two. Hey Makoto, what's up? My brother, my fellow model. Chat, what does he mean by fellow murder lover? I'd like to know. Does it mean you, you, you know? Let's raise our family sibling up, right? Okay. Stop talking about that. Oh, so. So you ready for the next round? Never. Actually, how do you do? I do. You do I, I did spend one time with him. Now I remember. I do remember. Um, 
wasting time with him once, but I don't think I actually got something out of it. He wanted to give me a reading, but it didn't really, really go anywhere. Uh, actually, how do you do your fortune telling anyway? I saw you doing palm readings and stuff, and you didn't use any tools or anything. Hmm. Oh, you didn't know you knew about divination tools. Sounds like you know you may have the spirit world. Uh, I'm not sure you need to know, uh, should... I'm not sure you need to know that much to need to know about this kind of tools. Yo! Now that you know you're an expert, I have a question for you. If a correct answer gets you another discount. Mm, no thanks. Could it be? There are 22 cards known as a major arcana and 56 cards known as a minor arcana. Generally, cards from the major arcana are used for divination. You know what I'm talking about, right? That must be tarot cards. Dude, I've been playing Persona my own time and you asked me that? Come on now. Oh, I know, you're talking about tarot cards. What? Oh, gloriously correct. I will now to tell you fortune for a measly 600 bones. Bones? Oh, really? Something I would never say. I've had enough fortune telling for one lifetime. Yeah. I see. Well, if you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. Sure thing. Anyway, getting back to what I asked you about before. If you don't use any tools or whatever, how do you do your fortune telling? Don't be mean. Well, don't be fooled. I have my own techniques. For example, I employ numerology. Numerology? Yo! It uses a mathematical formula to predict the future based on birth dates and letter numbering and all that. But I didn't see you do anything like that either. Hmm. Well, it's more of an inspirational style of fortune telling. Basically, it's bullshit then. Some kind of unknown power just acts through you and suddenly bam, you got the, you got the info. I'm talking about intuition. How about that? Don't try to describe it as such a cheesy word. But if it's all intuition, then it's gotta be some sort of supernatural power. It's not like some occult mystery. Don't compare my Clive Boys with occult bullcrap. I hate your cult. Take that crap somewhere else. I see. You hate your cult? Well? Yep. Now do some good news. Act now and I'll throw in an extra bonus for your reading. I used white magic to record a CD of spirit messages that I received from the luxury suite of heaven. Five seconds of this baby and you'll be witnessing miracles for and communing with the angels for days. And you said that you hated your cult. What the heck? Hey, business is business. So he's just a fucking scam artist. That's it. Nicey. Oh, hold on. I missed something in chat here. Got to love those milfs. I mean, I ain't saying he's wrong. Uh, in Australia, head minister for the environment was a numerologist. She was on record saying she thought that, uh, the, she got the job because it was an asteroid last name. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean she added an asteroid last name? <laughs> what kind of bullshit is that? The more I talk to him, the less I understand. No, he's just a scam artist, don't worry. Maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Oh, that's good. Shukovir was still spitch and I had to back to my room for a while. But yeah, I forgot I did talk to him before. Somewhere in chapter 2. The only reason that Saiga's one is done is because like, it was like one day. Attention. And then she gets murdered, so that's why. Please gather in the gym as soon as you possibly can. Oh, what the fuck is this? No, we're going to do more shenanigans, are we? I mean, I guess it would have been the same for Django as well. It's like spend one, uh, one, one day part with her and you probably have her bolt maxed out because, well, yeah. Quickly, 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 quickly! Oh no, no what? He made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym. And he sounded pretty serious about it too. Alright. Last time he was offering people money, but it's gonna be this time. Is he going to show us that he's holding someone hostage? And yeah, I'm doing this on English dub. Which means I don't have to read, uh, I mean the English dub is fine. Never really had much complaints with it so far. Um, it also means that I don't have to talk the entire time doing the class trails, which is kind of nice. Because this this part is probably going to kill my throat again, just like it did last week. Uh, last week I did go for three and a half hours, so maybe that was a bit much. I'm really going to be for over an hour now, though. I mean, there are some sections that are voiced, so... Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Huh. You're the last one. Everyone else is already inside. Aren't you going to go in? However... Not a bad feeling about this. More than just a feeling, probably. Monokuma did call us all together, after all. Sakura? Well, then... Okoto, if something happens to me, you know... Hmm? I'm sorry. No, never mind. So then. I'm... Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Okay. Since the lay was one of the most important and powerful positions in the country for decades, was a numerologist. That's what you meant. Oh, 
I mean, you, you made it sound like she just like put an S actually in her name. Sakura. I think you're trying to link something and it doesn't work. Every must have heard the announcement that once we all gathered at the gym, it began. We're going to see the same cutscene again and it still works because the people that haven't been murdered are not on there. Funny enough every time. I actually could have some wonder was in one of those. This country is actually a circus. Every country is a circus, really. Well? Okay, let's get this show on the road. You're about to give us our next motive presentation, aren't you? Hmm? Mm -hmm. That's right. You got us all together to present another motive, right? Is he right? Huh? You have to go through this again. <laughs> oh, not again. I can't take it anymore. I see. I'm impressed by a level of dismay. You may f you finally see just how low in the totem pole of life you really are. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not all. That's not it at all. We have to talk about motive. We're not here to talk about motive. Today, I'm feeling black. What? Okay. The reason I gathered you all here today... Uh, the reason I gathered you all here today is that I couldn't really get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? Why? I have a grudge against you, of course. But I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. Hmm. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. <laughs> Stop beating around the bush, just tell us what you're talking about. <laughs> well, Biakia, yeah. you've already told everyone how you might be working, uh, how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Come on. Yeah, so what about it? In other words... Well, today I'd like you to tell you about it, spy. What? Hey! So um... guess what? <laughs> the spy is actually Sakura Ogami. He said it so openly, it made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. What? What? He's, he's trying to get us to murder her, isn't he? Even if it is true or not. What? What did you just say? Instead of spy Sakura. What is this? What are you talking about? You're a liar! There is no way Sakura is a spy. Um... Right, Sakura? Huh? Sakura? <laughs> and it might just make Sakura fulfill a promise she made sometime soon. If she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to the hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What do you guys choose to do with the information is up to you. Thrills, chills, kills! Roaster, boiler, killer, don't kill her, whatever. I can't wait! I can't wait! And just like that he was gone. I finally understood what he'd been talking about. An eye for an eye, fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Huh? Um, what the heck? So, what does this mean? What? What? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying us from the mastermind? What are you saying? What are you saying? There's no way. <laughs> but, is, but, but that is what his stuffed animal said, right? Wrong. You're well, wrong. he's wrong. There's just no way. Hey. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. Huh? What? Oh, and I was being serious? No! For serious? Oh, because we moving for the mastermind? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Yes! So if you lying to us all this time. Huh? It's not true. Sakura's probably being controlled. There's gotta be some some reason. She didn't have a choice. She was just forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure he knows, right? The mastermind probably treated her uh, threatened her somehow. And this how Sakura had no choice but to do what she was told. Yes! What? You're talking like you know this for a fact. Because I do know it for a fact, because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting, and that's when I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during that fight I heard Sakura say, she decided to fight against the Mastermind. I see. You saw all that? The Mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end you made your mind to betray the Mastermind. What? Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question, is that it? <laughs> Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternative reality fairy tale? Not possible. She was a mastermind stool. You can absolutely not you absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. He's right. You can't just believe what he uh, what she says right now. I can't even be sure she really did betray the mastermind. Maybe it's a double bluff and she's still doing exactly what the mastermind wants. What are you saying? Sakura would never do that. <laughs> Okay then, Sakura. If we really have good ties with the Mastermind, then tell us who you really are. <coughs> Alright, Charlotte, take care. Well... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't. Even I don't know that. What? You, d you don't know? That makes me all the more suspicious. But please! She's telling the truth. You have to believe her. Don't make me repeat Oh, shut up. I'm not finished questioning her. Come on. The next question. What is this about to promise? What did the Mastermind order you to do? 
I'm a soul <gasps> to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. I see. So even now you've taken aim at the lies. Wrong. You're wrong, You're I'm wrong. telling you. Sakura would never do that. <laughs> you don't have to yell. We can hear you just fine. Don't you have an inside voice? That's terrible. It's because you're not listening to me. Wait. Please stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. <sighs> you have to take the full responsibility for this. However. How do you intend to do that? <sighs> By destroying the mastermind. What? I. I'm going to challenge them. Even if that means we both will go down, I will defeat them. I'm sorry. That is how I intend to take my responsibility. Hold on. Huh? What do you mean if you both got to go down? Hina. Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. Well. But I was scared. I thought that if I told you, you might think less of me. But... Sakura. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sakura turned away from us from the gym and left, uh, left the gym. And then... Night time. Well done. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Well, I think I didn't expect it to be not, uh, just to be like giving away who it was, but that's probably going to throw a curveball on its own. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Hmm. Well, it's night time. We should all go to bed. No way! Hold on. There's one thing with Sakura. Don't make me repeat. Myself. Over. She's our enemy. So there's nothing more. To, nothing more to discuss. That's terrible. No, Sakura is not our enemy. Why? Why doesn't anyone understand her? What? What is it you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really was. What is this? That's... Calm down. Let it go for now, Ina. Talking, uh, talking about this isn't going to help anything. Why? But. Anyway. Go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. Someone's gonna be dead tomorrow or something. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood. We were honestly glad the day was over. I'd be surprised if nothing does happen this evening. Sekar is a spy. She is a traitor. Pyokia said that Sakura is the enemy, but he's wrong. She's not my enemy, she's my friend without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? The game of life, huh? As long as you're human, there will always come a point where you wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues, even a soccer player touring Europe, even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets, has things that they like to go back and change. But I don't, cause I'm a bear! I see. He makes a good point though. He makes a good point. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry and get up to the dining hall. You do be a bear, at least he's not unbearable. Uh, he's not unbearable like older one. Who's the other one? Thinking about it, I am playing two games at the same time that have a talking bear in them. How the fuck did this happen? Hell, they even share the same voice actors for some reason. Not well, the bears, but Jack is in that cast. Comes in. Kyoko. Uh. <laughs> yes, Kyoko doesn't say. It doesn't need to say good morning. It's not this Kyoko though. <laughs> okay. Unintentionally funny, I guess. Unintentionally funny.
still ignoring me. She really got mad at me. But actually, it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around us here has gotten really heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. Well, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with uh, Kyoko as soon as possible. Giate moment. Ominous music right away, I uh, see. Um... Oh, Ricardo, are you okay? Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> you were late, so I worried about you. <laughs> what a dullard. Togo, Biaki, what are you doing here? What the heck? They're taking a refugee here. Refugee? Such ignorance. That makes like a stupid face. You have to protect yourselves against a mastermind stool. The mastermind. Are you talking about Sakura? That's when I finally noticed the only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I, all I, all, all I know is, if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against a threat. A threat? What is this? What? Why do you hate her so much? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? Because she makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets the balance. What the heck? That's a stupid reason. What? What did stupid. you say? This is a life or death game, is it not? That's terrible! It is stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Hey. Before you get too far into the argument, maybe you should stop and think things through. Why did the mastermind reveal us that Sakura's a spy to us? What the heck? If we're getting a revenge on her right, like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. However... That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. We're reading this fact also meant to serve as the next motive for the mastermind wanted to give us. The case and confusion born from suspicion, the hatred. In other words... In other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, it's a trap of the mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, we stand there and argue like children. But... That's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... I mean, how can you guys believe in Sakura? How can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? <sighs> if she really can beat the mastermind like she said, that would go a long way in my mind. What are you saying? Edit, did really ask you to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Huh? What? <laughs> if Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the mastermind to control, so I have no problem with that. Hold on, Biakia. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, if she did die, that would settle his entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would put all problems to rest. No, someone can bitch slapped. What the hell? You disgust me! You're... You're a monster! Also, the more I hear, I think, um... Oh, yeah, it's the same as Yukiko from Persona 4. To say something like that? It should have been you. What is it we say? Mm, I don't know. You should have been the one to die! What? I should have died? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. And now you're planning to take care of it yourself? Go ahead, try it if you dare. If that's how it works here, that's how it works here after all. What is this? You think I can do it? You know, calm down. That's right. This is exactly what the mastermind wants, and it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. <laughs> that's Ross. That's wrong. What's your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembler with Dang uh, Dangarina ran off. He knows that's funny. That stupid cow. How dare she? She should die a thousand deaths, no a million. So she was just another hyster hysterical little girl, hauling about my attention. Just a second. That's what other people call having feelings back here, and all you can do is mock them for it. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Hey. A friendly word of warning. Someday that other dude is going to come back and bite you. Hard. I don't have time. And I will happily elude its attempts. <sighs> mm, so you know. Uh, um... How about uh, we eat? Maybe, maybe now's not a good time. You know? Uh, uh-huh. Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We had to back to our rooms one by one. I don't have any. I don't have any spinning Hina emotes. I'm sorry. Phew. So what should I do today? Hang out with Sakura, of course. Actually, can I? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to save and I'm going to get myself some chocolate. And then while I eat the chocolate, I'm going to um, spend my time on the gadget, I suppose. Quick be right back, chat.
All right, I'm back. All right, I said that I'm going to get the coins and the ketchup, so... Can I quickly teleport there? I can. <coughs> all right, just going to use all the other coins there. Fifty-one coins. Oh boy. And it sucks that you have to wait like a split second before you can put another another coin in. And that would work. Hmm. Maybe just press the D-pad wall. Speed is up a little bit, but hey. Oh, bonus. I'm just giving away Steam Decks for free here. Wow. Okay, sure. Just keep getting lucky, why not? It's like 80% chance I got like a new item. Those are some good catch-offs though. Trust me, I'm an expert. <laughs> How much coins do we need to put in in order to, uh, to make this zero? More coins than I have, okay. Point, you're going to run into the issue that you just don't have any more coins to get all of them. You just need to learn to fish you, that's all. I mean, even in gacha rates, if you look at Fisher, Fisher is like 30% uh, I believe. It's still pretty good also, things considered. It's not really going to work that well, but in a gacha game it would be like insane luck. Stop giving me fongs. 30% on even levels, yeah, that, that, yeah, true. Keep forgetting about the even level thing. That's why I just got to make sure that you're on, on the right level, you know? Yeah, that was a new one. I think there's still like five items left in here. YOLO YOLO Oh. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on This is going over to 60% Oh, she's a fucking dupe Thanks, Monokuma I don't think I'm going to get 100% on that though I'm not gaining for it at least Catch addiction didn't teach you anything, you see. Ah, don't worry about it. Actually, actually, funny enough, like over the last week, I tried to get a, uh, a new servant in, uh, in Fate Grand Order, and I got really unlucky with it, and it's only like showed up like once after um, Christ. I think there's like 15, uh, 15 10 rolls. And then today I got an offense, and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do another roll, and I got her again. So like, what, what is this? Probably made up for not showing up that, uh, before, but hey. Um, you know what? I'm gonna spend some time with you because I've got a bad feeling about this. Ah, I got a bad feeling about you. Um. Good though. Did you want something? Should have talked to Ina for a while. Spend some time with Ina. About that. Are you, are you worried about me? It's nice of you. Yeah, I was quite depressed, but I did what I could do for her. 
You know, I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? I mean, you say you grew a little bit closer, but most of the stuff only happens after you give someone a gift that's actually good for them. I think I have another um, swimsuit, don't I? Yeah, I do. For me? Mm. Thanks, Makoto. This makes me feel a little better. I was able to cheer her up a little. No, I guess it wasn't a good gift. Fuck. Oh, cock. Plenty of time. Don't feel like sitting here. Should go somewhere. Let's talk to, uh, to Kyoko. We're still not talking to you anymore. Mm, what's going on here? Oh, hey, Sakura left her womb, actually. Maybe she talked to Sakura. Uh... Go away, she won't even look at me. I guess she doesn't even want to see my face. Oh! Oh, so it actually is affected. It is actually affected. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I should have guessed that. Considering the story. Just into the same as Sakura, then, I wonder. I'm sorry. Appreciate it all, but I'd like to be alone right now. Need some time for myself to think. Yeah, yeah. Although this one skill I haven't developed too much. <laughs> All right, Dan. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Some chapters will be unavoidable. Yeah. Makes sense. I don't really want to spend more time with Toko. I already got like what I wanted that from from that. I don't think I got anything from um, from Biyakia. Yeah, well, let's just spend another day with Ina here. Why not? Sorry. Really sorry, but I'm gonna be alone right now. Okay. Up. Oh, okay. Sure. Sure. No one wants to hang out with me. I see. I see how it goes. Just go hang out with this asshole over here. And now I got gifts that he likes. Friendly enough. Hmm. Sakura and Hina, finally some action. Things are starting to become interesting. What do you hmm? want? Oh, I didn't see you standing there. Did you need something? Shouldn't like to be active for a while. Yeah. That's fine. Fine, I don't mind allowing you to indulge in your attention. I hope you appreciate this. <laughs> Instant regret here. Eh? Spend some time with Biaka here. Yeah. Come a little closer. Would you like to give him a present? Yeah. Alright, give him the special. Give him the special. No, 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 not that. That. Normally, would expect something a little nicer, but that's fine. Hmm, you got enough plus. You, you pass, but barely. Get the impression that you like it. That's good. So, in other words, just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent progeny is only one of my many talents. Some people think I rely on the care and protection of the Dogami name. Hmm. Is it a mole or something? <laughs> but I don't really rely on my family. Rather, I am a family savior. To the Gami Corporation reaches across the world, true, but I will take us even greater heights. It's expected of me, naturally. After all, even I, even my own family has acknowledged my ultimate superiority. <laughs> In other words, even among the Togami family, I'm the chosen one among the chaos, uh, amongst the chosen. So much confidence. Naturally. And that confidence is justified, I assure you. It comes from the battles I fought and won. Battles? <laughs> I'm, person I'm personally worth over four billion dollars, separate from the Togami family assets. Must be nice being rich, a little cunt. How the heck did you make that much money? In other words, the stock market. Oh, the stock market has been in shambles for over a year. Shut up. I buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends all within a single day. Yes. Surely even someone as simple-minded as you has heard of this technique. So he buys and sells stuff in the stock market, doing anything in a single day. I think that's called. Ah, uh, God, what is this? Shows how it's in trading. Oh, that's probably day trading, but straight marks is also not that. Talking about day trading, right? And you were able to make four billion dollars doing that, right? Gambling, you know, for kids. I mean, like last last year, I put. Uh, I, I, of course, Mario does like some um, some stuff on the stock market, not that much. No, I was like, yeah, his shit. Put like two hundred euros on the on, on the market for me earlier. Yeah, and then like the the war in fucking Ukraine happened, and my money was immediately gone. I'm still not profit from that. Thanks. Uh, did you ever be able to make four billion dollars doing that? That's right. Well, first I started doing it to keep myself occupied, and before I knew it, there it was. It's not really a big deal. I say it's a super big deal. 
And if you get rich enough through the stock market and you run the 40, that means you invest in the crypto and got lucky. <laughs> it's also a weird one. Wait, but the high scores even like to buy stocks and stuff. Don't make me I'm Biaki Togami. Is that meant to be an explanation? I mean, it's from a rich family. Of course, of course, rules don't apply to them. Come on, come on now. Hmm. Four billion dollars is nothing to the Togami Corporation, but for personal use, it's not bad. So now you understand, right? I'm not merely the child of modern day nobility. You know, Biaki. Maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. <laughs> oh, no, don't do it anymore. It was too simple, so I got bored of it pretty quickly. Jeez, you realize I'm something that sounds to the best of us. <laughs> of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. Must be nice being rich, you fucking cunt. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, he really is confident. We're like worlds apart, galaxies apart. Updated. Your maximum level of skill points has increased. Okay, still not all the skill from him. Still reading from Biakia's story, I went back to my room. I mean, crypto is a scam. Unless you started it, then you run away quickly with it, and now everyone else is like picking up the debris after you. I know I said that twice. <coughs> this is it a still applies though. It is now 10 p.m. Don't mind me, I'm just I'm, I'm just mindlessly aggressive to watch rich people. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. So the question is, are we going to get another day with like some free time to fill in, or is shit actually going to happen now? I expect shit to happen though. Night time already. Tonight feels somehow uneasy. Oh yeah, definitely shit is gonna happen now. We still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone is in a terrible mood. Just hope nothing happens tonight. Well, if that's not raising a fucking flag, then I don't know. Ah, the crab is an entire family now. Ah. After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Where's the shrimp idea was that she came back suggesting I should become a crab instead. Hey, time to become a crab. Look, in the kitchen and death game would be the death of me. I'm going to survive with my 4am cheese slices. Yeah, say. I, I need my midnight snack. <laughs> How much can one person love crustaceans? <laughs> I said no, of course, and she showed back. Okay then. How about to make it extra special? You can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But how is that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards, I'm gonna go forwards. I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the line, then she said. You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tail of the crab and the monkey? Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it, but so what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's some, just some legend. How irrelevant to a greed obsessed modern society. Ooh. Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Now, crabs are a popular uh, MMO RPG staple to be like one of the first enemies you encounter though. So, huh? Give or take, I guess? Monkey themed clothes and sweeping in fashion worlds, but the crab doesn't set any chance, right? What if I'm s Chat, is this just a fucking either advance to crab or return to monkey allegory? What is this? What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in today's light speed world. Do your market research, lady. Which is why I chose to be always popular bear image. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma! You either become crab or you revert back to monkey. One of two. He chose to become a bear instead. We call that cheating. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful right, day. Need to do something about Sakura. I better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about it one more time. Leave the area. Yep. Wah! Ah, huh? Was it someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. Well, shit's happening right away. If someone got murdered in the dining hall, that would be a bit of metal. How could you still eat a meal after that? Ah, uh, Makoto, we got a big problem, man. What's wrong? Uh, Look! 
I was thinking Shug Shugas he pointed. Oh. No, never mind. He Are you okay? What happened? She she killed her. Genocide Jill killed Hina! Oh, she still looks pretty alive to me. You gotta be kidding! No, 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 she's not dead. Open your eyes. No way she's dead. Why? What happened? Uh, I'll talk in here just all of a sudden. They were yelling and then they knocked the pepper off the table. And then let her sneeze. You SOB! Those giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real. <laughs> and look at my slate shapely collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? I've actually seen comments about people saying that they really love fucking collarbones, and I'm like, why? It's just a fucking bone that you can see. What, what's so sexy about it? I don't know. People are weird. <laughs> anyway, you totally adorable. non adorable boys get out of my sight, okay? Or else. My I'll start cutting. Today. And cutting and cutting and cutting and indulging myself for who knows how long. Okay, then let's get into the, the nurse's office. Come on, hero, help me. Uh, um. Sure thing. <laughs> wee -oo, wee -oo. Genocide Jack of Brace of Lost chases out of the room as we carry Hina away. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if someone killed, uh, killed Togo. It's just fucking annoying. <laughs> By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, it was super close. If I, hadn't, if I hadn't yelled out, you might be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. <laughs> so sarcastic. It just makes you sound even more hostile. Who doesn't love some sarcasm? <laughs> but man, I couldn't believe it. I was positive I was about to see some life come to an end. If I ever saw something like that, I'd never be able to sleep again, which would suck. I love sleep. Dude, you've witnessed three executions. What do you mean you haven't seen a murder yet? Yeah, never mind the person who actually died, right? Uh. Hey, you know, what the heck happened? Oh, uh, we just got into a fight and I lost my temper and uh, it flew off the handle. Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura? But... At first I just tried to ignore it. If you let jerk brittles get all, uh, if you let that... If you let jerk brittles get to you all the time, you'll never have any time to, leave, uh, to live your life. But you wouldn't let it go, so I just... What the heck? Without thinking, it felt like I wanted to punch you like a dozen times. We're serious. A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. And when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack will let loose, right? Sorry. Maybe it's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore. Because, because... Because she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started dwelling up at tears. And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off his hinges. And there she stood before us. Sakura, with like a murderous look in her face. Hina. Yeah. Huh? Sakura. Ugh. You're hurt. What happened? Huh? N nothing. It's not a big deal. Hey! Makoto, hero, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> it wasn't me. It was genocide jail. That's all that meant murderous fiend fault. Oh, damn. To hurt Hina. Damn you. To leave me alone, but to hurt her. What is this? How dare you! What is this? <laughs> No, I'm okay. It's just a scratch. Oh, no forgiveness. Close enough. I can't forgive this. Close enough again. Just keep screaming, bro. Oh. Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. What? What? I, I don't hate you exactly. I can't forgive this. Why? What's going on, babe? Oh. Somebody save me! Hero nearly tripped over himself as he was screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later, what's going on? Hey. What's all this noise about? Kyoko sitting in the doorway of the nurse's office taking Hero's spot in the room. It would seem... I get it that something happened. Kyoko, please, we have you have to stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything, I just... Ugh. I'm drawing a line right here and now. I'm drawing a line. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, Sakura. Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to change up to Sakura. The only ones left were... Me and Kyoko. Uh, maybe, you know, talk to her? I'm Kyoko. Are you still mad? Yeah, I figured. 
It's fine. Hmm? The part of the issue we discussed earlier doesn't matter anymore. Then do you forgive me about not being able to talk about it? In other words... You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of it yourself. That's what you're thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. <laughs> don't think like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. Oh no. What? Because... Because ultimately, it means you don't trust me. No, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm, I'm sorry. That's fine. That's fine, I've already forgotten about it. Besides, and I... I may have overreacted. Huh? Anyway... Anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay, thank you. Oh, uh, now what? <sighs> that issue we talk about doesn't matter anymore. I want to talk to you about something else. What is it you want to talk to me about? Indeed. I'd actually, I'd like you to come with, uh, come with me somewhere. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but. Shall we go? Well then, shall we get going? <laughs> somewhere we find. Mm. With a typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Ah, like Kyoko. I heard of the catcher. She walked ahead in silence. I know what in silence I chased her. And eventually we arrived. The fourth floor? Oh no, just there again. Okay. The dressing room. So there's something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right, it doesn't do with Alter Ego. But you said you did you said we didn't need Alter Ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him, I just said he had done his job. Besides, not that he needs Alter Ego. He has business with us. Hmm? Right. Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. And apparently he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Um. Hello. Oh, so it's just the two of you, Kyoko and Makoto. Kyoko's fingers glided across the keyboard. It's still not enough. No, no, it's okay. Two should be plenty. Hmm, hiccups. But what is this what he wanted to ask? Indeed. Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko type in this question. I'm surprised this thing doesn't have a microphone and that you need to like type in the answers. Hmm. What do you want to ask us? So, um... Uh, yeah, so... I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? What? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied, Why? <laughs> well, um... You said my job is done, right? But just to stop here... Saying I've finished my work, but I don't want that. I want, to be able I, want to, to I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can get all, all get out of here. That's right. That's what Master would want too. So to help everyone else, to solve the mystery of the school. That's right. The only way I can help if you connect me to the school network. Mm, but if you did that, it's basically suicide. I'm positive the mastermind would find out about it if they did find you and they'd need a right rewrite, Kyoko. So. I realize how dangerous it could be. But still, I have to do this. But I'm scared, but I can't handle it. I don't really understand why, but... but still, when I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some in inhuman AI, but it's true. So it's okay. I'm if it's for the sake of everyone that. else, I won't be afraid. I couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed. Too admirable. Too fragile. Hey. You remember what you asked before, right? Uh, what you asked before, Mikado? You asked what the difference is between a person and a program, right? Yeah. Certainly. When I talk to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can't answer. But I can say this. Correct. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. Kyoko. I... To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. Of course, if you take more risk, the, mo the mastermind will, not will notice it. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. But... Hey. He's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. And he says that he wants to fight alongside his friends. No. If you're in his place, could you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Or would you try? Would, would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them you're, that you're their friend. So, um... Uh, are you guys fighting? If it's about me, please don't. I want to believe in myself. I want to be able to say I know I can do this. Leave it to me. So please, let me try. Listen. And besides, there's one place where the master might, might not notice. One place? That's right. Remember, there's another place besides here where there's no surveillance camera. The room. Oh, a. Um... Wait, what? Se no, it's a secret room, guys, then. That's it, the secret room you told me about. I was gonna smuggle in a laptop there, though. Definitely remember there was no surveillance camera in there. Indeed. And I do believe you can connect to the network from there. 
I remember seeing an Ethernet pop in a while. However, however, just because there's no camera there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. We'll also have to move Alter Ego and the mastermind may spot us going to the secret room. If they pick up on any of this, then it's all over. Mm, you're right. That's what we have to but do. But despite that, I think st I still think we need to try. Correct. Because that is the best chance of finding any new clues. Okay, okay. In that case, really let me carry him. There's no way you could hide him at your wearing, right? So let me do it. It's true. Okay then, I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then. No, then, then let's get started. It's gonna be a little cramped for you, Alter Ego, but bear with us, okay? Started packing him up right away. Close the laptop and stuffed it underneath my jacket. <laughs> Uh huh, it tickles. What do you mean? You have a laptop, you can feel that. She can talk right now. We're going to move you to another room. Until we get there, you have to be absolutely silent, okay? Why is it making that noise? Understood, your command, your command has been implemented. Good. Try to react like a machine like that all of a sudden, I didn't know how to react. Makoto. In the secret room, there was a bunch of different cables in one, in one of the desk drawers. So there might be a network cable in there. However. Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is go and check for ourselves. It's true. Agreed, let's head to the secret room. Secret room time. Oh, why do I need to... Fuck, which floor was it on again? Uh, third floor mm -hmm. bathroom, right? Alright, this is the dormitory, hold on. I also talked to a couple people on the first floor. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Why is it... Alright, so then take care. That is a very coherent message. Thank you for saying that. My obsession? What are you doing? <laughs> living. I see. Anyway, I'm headed back to my room. I'll just be there, living totally calm. <laughs> Gex, I blame, you, I blame you for this. I blame you for this. Nonsense and gibberish. Cool. <laughs> Spinning facts. Um, Godo, why, did, why do you seem so surprised? Um. Nothing's wrong. Why would anything be wrong? Uh -huh. It's acting really strange. Well, I guess he's always acting really strange. Uh, um, uh, I gotta go back to my room now. Uh, take a easy, partner. See ya. Uh huh. Fuck's he going on about? I mean, I was being real quiet since uh, Toko dropped. <laughs> yeah. No rub call here. Why the fuck did she make that noise? That's what I'm wondering about. What the fuck was the voice actor doing here? Uh, don't think it was this one, right? Hey. Hey, Makoto. Why? Are you sure the documents are all gone? I refuse to believe you. Go and check again. What? Listen to me. Just hurry up and go. Make sure you don't run off. I'm gonna wait right here. No, I got it. She's acting. She was so forceful, so I don't make her mad again somehow. Just a second. Why are you just standing there? Hurry up and go. Okay, okay, I'm going. So then. I'm being thorough. I'm counting on you. In the fucking room. Okay, first we have to find a network cable. Going to Google should be best with cables in this drawer. Mm. Now nah, that's a land cable, right? Fine, if this is a network cable, right? Now we just have to connect Alter Ego. I immediately got to work, pulled out the laptop and connected it to the Ethernet port with the cable. I just made an Ethernet port here. Yeah? No, that you do it. Why? Why is... Never mind. That you do it. Um... That's right. Yeah, I think it worked. Leave it to me. Just leave the rest of me, I swear I'll find something. Might even be able to connect to the outside world. If I can, let's see if I can call for help. So, so please just wait a little while longer. I'm Hold on tight, I put your fate in me. I was about to leave, I decided to leave him with one last thing. No matter what, we're going to get you out of here. You and the rest of us as friends. Cables are supposed to have full protection. Uh, it's not really an internet cable, is it? Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mikado. 
Makoto. How did it go? Well, I went okay, but all the uh, the documents were gone. Just like I told, uh, this is like I told you. Well, your plan was an unintentional mix of acting real and uh, acting in real failings. Correct. I see. Then there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Kyoko was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore. That much was for sure. Ah, Kyoko. What? Yes. So we're just gonna split Why up. Is that? Of course, I've no reason to stay with you all at this point. Well, maybe, but isn't that a little too direct? <sighs> Should I hesitate and film with something to say? I use so use so high maintenance. That's not what I meant. I just more want to talk to you about, like, what are you gonna do about Sakura? It's true. Well, something has to be done. It's true. However. But the way things are right now, and there's no way to persuade anyone. You don't have to. You don't have the mind to listen. And what should we do? So. If you find some new clue that will likely change the situation, that's all we can hope for right now. Which is why alter ego. Correct. All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right. That's our only option. We parted ways and headed back to my room. Is it really smart to just like leave the laptop there? Probably not. Kinda tired, so I lay down in bed. Maybe that's because of the stress of moving alter ego, but it was way more tired than I realized. So before long at all. Fuck, I just fell asleep in the middle of the day. I completely dozed off. Huh? Just outside of the doorbell pissed my sleepy eyes and pulled me back to the real world. Which I love that when it happens. Especially fun in the morning. Rattle. Makoto. Makoto, get out of here. Kyoko, what's going Indeed. on? Hina just came to see me. She was white as a ghost. Sounds like something's happened. What? As soon as I heard those words, my heart, my heart started to beat a little faster. Suddenly, I found myself wide awake. She said first to come to the rack room. The rack room? Okay, let's hurry. Oh, you don't look as white as a ghost. You still look perfectly huh? tan. Uh, Makoto, Kyoko, you know what's wrong? Something's not right. In the rec room, what's inside? There was a window in the rec room and I hurried to look inside. On the door. And when I did... Sakura? Is she unconscious? She's sitting up in a chair like she's bowing her head. Well, she's dead, isn't hey. she? What's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? She's walking past and I happened to notice her through the window. But I couldn't get the door to open. I tried knocking and called her name. But she wouldn't respond. She probably got poisoned or something. Huh? It's like the only way you can take her out. So what should we, should we do? What are we gonna do? Anyway. First of all, we need to get into that room. But the door's locked, right? And if we break in, we'll be violating the school regulations. Listen to me. We're going to force our way in. I just said. Wrong. The door isn't locked. It's not locked because the rec room doesn't have a lock. Then why? It would seem... Feels like the door is being pressed up against something inside the room. Is it a chair? Chair. In other words. Either way, this door isn't locked, which means, as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. Then there's no problem if we break in. Indeed. Let's smash the window. That should be the fastest way. Technicalities. Yeah. Okay, I'll go get something to break a bit. Wait, wait right here. Just, just go get a mallet. Uh, just go get a, get a mallet. Inside the rec room, Sakura like still hasn't moved an inch. She's just unconscious, right? Yeah, and there's like a suspicious thing on the floor next to her. I'm telling you. No, wait, if she was that, we would have already gotten the notice, I guess. Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura, so I'm sure... Kyoko didn't reply. There's only silence. But the silence didn't last long. Here. Find a broom. In a classroom. Hurry, use it. Makoto. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please. Come on, please, hurry. Okay, you two, stand back. Why didn't you get a fucking mallet? I took hold of the broom and swung as hard as I could. Aiming directly at the window, all took was one solid hit. The window shattered into a hundred pieces scattering across the rack room floor. I stuck my hand through the now open window and started adjusting the chair leaning against the door. The chair's pretty heavy, but if I can if I can just push down it with all my strength and the knob turned. Sakura. I went up to her as fast as I could. But the moment I let my hand on her, her body has been found. Why is she looking so serene? All I felt was called death. I could feel the only last lingering moment of a living body. Life had depend on Sakura's body. And then... There you have it. So it actually waits until you're in the room, even though you see it? Hmm. A body has been discovered! 
after a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Oh boy. It's pretty fast, actually. Pretty short chapter, all things considered. Sakura's. Sakura's dead? She's really dead? I heard Tina talking, but my ass is uh, suddenly forward. I could really look on at Sakura's dead body. We didn't make it in time. You can pretty easily get to the drill here if you wanna. Yeah, still have like a good hour, so it should be fine. We didn't make it in time. It's happening again. I'm going to herself, Kyoko, but gently inspect Sakura's body. I wonder if she confirming that Sakura was really dead, checking for a pulse or a reaction. I, I have to go get them. I have to go get the others. And Shaky likes Nina left the recording room. And I... Why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I could say. Repeated it over and over again. I, I need to examine Sakura's body. I really wonder we did it, though. I mean, like, I guess Byaki is like the main suspect here because it'd still be sad, but. Well, maybe someone is going to act out of character again, like uh, Celeste did doing that old shit. She just stood there motionless behind her as she checked Sakura's corpse. Time passed. Well, I stood there unable to do a thing, time just passed. And after I don't know how long. I got, ev I got everyone. Yeah? Ogre? Mm, yes. Oh, sure yes. she's dead, huh? I see. Sakura's been killed, I see. As soon as they arrived, Kyoko began. Just a second. You heard the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means. <laughs> Sakura was murdered by someone in this very room. Is that what you're going to say? Huh? No. Whoever killed her. It's not just someone in this room. It's your fault! It was one of you. Hero, Byake, Toko, one of you killed Sakura. Oh, what if it was Ina? What if it was Hina in some weird twist of fate? Mm hmm? What? You're accusing us before even begun the investigation. I don't need to investigate anything. Because you hated her. You hated the sight of her. What if you did it? I know it. You know it? Jeez, I didn't know your power level would increase that much by just getting mad. What the heck? What are you doing here? Come on. Isn't it obvious? I'm here to hand out my little murder flyer. It's the Monokuma file! That's right, it's the next Monokuma file. Yeah. And don't get so mad, Mrs. Asina. Oh, you're gonna get ruined that loot little face of yours. Oh my. Hmm. Now done with that eye. Hold on. There's something I want to ask you. Huh? Hmm? It was you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura. Uh huh. Sakura wanted to challenge the mastermind to a duel. Maybe you and, uh, you and her fought again and then... Then I killed her? Hmm, hmm sorry, not quite. Actually, you're leaving close. <laughs> that whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura came to a most regrettable end even without getting the chance to pinch things with me. Phew. Which, thank God for that, it's safe to trouble of having to go through it without, to have to go through it a little fight. Because even for someone like me, it would have been no mean feat to take down a behemoth like that. Hey, um... I'm tell you, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she violated her rule by attacking me in the first place, and I but I wasn't able to punish her. Well, so I don't know who it was, but who happened to blacken this this time, I owe you one. What is this? You owe them one? <laughs> Oopsie, before you get all pissy potty at me, you better figure out who did it first. Because I mean, your lives are all on the line, right? <laughs> 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 I love the laugh though. What is this? I, I I know I know he's the bad guy, but I can't help but liking him to a certain degree. What the hell? He owes him one. I hate him. I hate this whole thing. Well, I for one am glad it was Sakura. She was just working for the Mastermind after all. How can you say that now? Sorry, I don't have time for your squabbling. The next game has already begun. If you want to be angry at someone, be angry at whoever killed Sakura. Evil bears better than teenagers. I don't know. He's just funny and trollish. I like it. I just, I just like it. It's like one of the uh, the evil guys. I just kind of like, I guess. I'm kind of trolly like this. Anyway. Right now, a top priority needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can do that, we're all that. Hmm. Then let's decide who will send guard this time. And I'll do it. You know. I'm okay. Just let me handle it. 
Besides, I want to be uh, be with her. It's like I want to be here with Sakura. That's fine. Okay, then Hina got number one. But we need one more. <laughs> Kyogo, that's you. What? Me? <laughs> You're always a thorn in my side. Just time to stand by and watch quietly. Consider that an order. An order? That's fine. It's fine, I'll stay behind. <laughs> then it's settled. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on. Before that, there's something I want to say. What? Which is? Here we are, and Toko. None of you are allowed to step a foot in the crime scene. Huh? What? It's your fault. Why, hero? Well, he did act kind of sus. Uh, hold on. Let's, yeah. Hmm. What have you killed Sakura? I won't let someone like that come anyone near her. Stop. Talking. Don't be stupid. Our lives are just in as much danger as yours. We have every right to investigate. I don't care what you say. I'm not letting the one who killed Sakura anyone near. Even if that means I have to use force, you're not getting in here. Well, the best further discussion would be a waste of time. How about a compromise? It's all clear. I won't ask you to let all of us in. Just let me. What? what? <laughs> you don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyway. Yep. Nope, I don't really care. Uh -huh. I try to spend my time coming up with another splendid fantasy involving my master anyway. <laughs> and you, hero, do you really object? Uh, uh, if you're gonna go that far, what can I do? I mean, I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? It's all clear now. Then it's decided. What are you saying? Nothing's decided. Calm down. I know what you're feeling, uh, but you should agree to this request. But hey, we have to find out who killed Sakura. Correct. For those of you still alive and to honor Sakura's memory, it's fine. I guess it's okay. But no matter what, Biaka, you absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. <laughs> and naturally, we want to touch her to fill the fill the dead body. Listen. That's enough fighting. We need to focus on the investigation from here on out. I'll come back, shot it. Everyone, keep this in mind. If you can't go for Sakura's killer, listen to me. All of us face execution. Some broken shit behind her, actually. Some flop too. Finding out who killed Sakura. It's not a matter of hoping we can do it. It's if we want to survive, we have to do it. It's a kind of hopeless hope. We have no choice but to just do it. All right, investigation time. <coughs> I better check out the Monokuma file before anything else. The victim is Sakuragami. The time of death is estimated to be around 12 noon. The body was discovered in the recreation room on the third floor of the school. There is evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. Mm -hmm. However, it seems that at some point the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. <laughs> oh, Sakura died. Yeah. Hey. I think the case of this one might be challenging. Why is that? So the only way into the recreation room was through the door we just came through, and that door had been jammed shut with a chair from inside the recreation room. Which means the killer would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. Fuck! It's a closed room murder. So if the door was blocked from the inside and there was no way to uh, out until he broke in the window, there's like zero escape, right? In other words, in other words this is a classic locked room murder. For fuck's sake. I figured it was Monokuma. I don't think it was Monokuma actually, but. Locked Room Murder. Yeah, that's a classic. I guess you might see this thing a lot in mystery no more movies or books or whatever. Yeah, they're really pulling a classic here, huh? But could it really happen in real life? And right before a very, a very eyes like this? Hey. Are you curious to say more about what the Locked Room Murder entails? Sure, if you don't mind. That's fine. When you break down this kind of murder mystery, there are four basic types. The first type is when the Locked Room is created after the actual crime is committed. This simply means that the, uh, the killer commits his crime, then through some special matter seals, seals the room. No, it's a suicide work with Monokuma's rule. Uh... Hmm... Fair. Don't you just have to point out that she's the killer herself then? This might actually work. I mean, I can I think I can point out dead people in the trail, so it wouldn't even be that surprising that I can actually do that. Or that something actually is gonna happen like that. This mainly involves some sort of trick involving the locking of the room. Basic approach includes a string or a simple uh, mechanism. There's a number of variations. So for that, all we have to do is to check the door to see if it was right, right? Correct. Why would she even kill herself, though? Hmm. Well, she was some sort of vulnerable person, so maybe, M maybe something happened. Killed? Maybe. I, I could see her do it, to be honest, but no, I guess we'll see. The second type is when the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. Oh? In other words... Basically, the killer uses a special contraption or tool from outside to target the victim inside. 
You press the switch and fire a handgun, you shoot an arrow to a gap in a door, something like that. However. But in this case, that doesn't seem to fit. It's pretty adamant of ripping the bass head off first. That's also true. There are no guns or arrows in the school, and the door doesn't have any gap that would allow it. Yeah, I think I could probably cross that one out of the list. It's true. She could have died fighting the battle, yeah? Hmm. I don't think you can put him on a coup in a trail, so unless he actually shows up in the selection, you don't know if it's gonna be him. The third type is when the kill stays in the room until it's opened up. What do you mean by that? In other words. They stay hidden, and when the door is opened, they use the confusion to blend in with the group. They pretend they showed up along with everyone else, and that's that. It sounds like it could have been possible, maybe. It's true. And the fourth and final type is when it wasn't actually a locked room at all. Not not a locked room. In other words. But that direction is an alternate escape route from somewhere within the room. Did you say alternate escape route? Hmm. Hold on, I need to align this properly. There we go. <laughs> Boo! Hey, come on, come on now. You see this in a lot of levels and things, but in reality, generally not possible. What do you think we can cross that one off too? Indeed. I believe so. Yes. So when it comes to lock room mysteries, those are the basics. So there are four possibilities, then Kyoko, which of those four choices seems to be the most likely in the case? It's true. It's a good question. Answering that should be your primary focus during this trial. I really should like, uh, like take this image and I should like get rid of the uh, the fake transparent background, you know? Because this is just kind of kind of fucking ruining it. It's a good question. Answering that should be primary focus during this trail. Railroad, you're saying Rat did it? Ah! I see. But right now I can't really say. I see. The way the kill is in a locked room, until I figured that out, the truth behind, true behind Sakura's death will stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. For Sakura, if nothing else. I don't know, I just kind of feel that Sakura was dying as she closed the door. And just sat down, sat down there peacefully, you know? Because it doesn't really look like... No way in hell the murder actually happened when she was sitting there. So it looks like some kind of rapper. Huh? That's... Do you recognize Azina? Well. Yeah, I mean, I gave it to her. Feels like something that I'm like Shyamalan would rise as my first guess. <laughs> Let's see. It's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found her genocide jacket at me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help her come down a little. So I gave it that candy to Sakura. Found a big box in the warehouse. I really like them. Actually, as soon as we could get out and uh, get into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. So I made sure nobody else could get their hands on them. Do you really like them that much? Because, I mean... But I wanted Sakura to get the chance to try them on herself. That's why I gave it to her. But now they've lost all their flavor. You know. Pull a little candy wrapper. One of the glass bottles broke, at least. There's glass shots scattered around the chest Sakura was sitting on. The glass is all red and... There were top and bottom sections of a bottle, right? So this must have originally been a bottle. Glass shards on the floor. Huh? There's something else on the ground near the glass. Yeah, it's a jazz piece. It's a figure. It fits in the palm of my hand. It's a Monokuma figure. Figure on the floor has been added to the two bullet section. I don't really think that's going to be much. Also, the locker is finally open. Four red bottles lined up on the shelf. Inside each bottle is some kind of Monokuma figure. It's a chess piece. What I'm wondering is how to get those figures inside the bottles. Don't worry about it. Create a so... secret. It's no different from your standard chip in a bottle. Hmm? You know, where the bottle is opening is smaller than the boat place inside. Have you ever seen that? Oh yeah, maybe I have. In other words. So this is a Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. I actually have like a bottle chip back at my dad's place. I think my uncle made that. Hmm. It's really interesting. Look really nice too. Uh, so we now do the truth bullet section. Okay. I feel like I'm finally starting to make sense of things little by little. Are oh, you really? Monokuma balls sitting on the shelf. Monokuma figure we find on the, on the ground. The shelves of the shelves of rest glass probably started out as a ball. Which would mean Sakura has been hit in the head with a Monokuma ball, alright? Shots of glass and the Monokuma figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say that the Monokuma ball was the weapon. I don't know. You don't really see any blood on it, do you? The locker, the locker's open, and on the inside, a handprint. 
Someone got walked in. That shit. What is this? Why is there white stuff in there? Why? What's a handprint doing here? Looked like someone touched the inside of the lock and I left a handprint and all the dust. That's dust? Bro. It's true. And it looks like it's quite fresh too. I'd say someone was hiding in the locker and then they left behind a little something extra. Sudan. Maybe the killer hid in here until the locked room was opened, don't you think? And during all the confusion they popped out and joined the rest of the group? Wrong. No, unfortunately that's not a possibility. Why not? Hey. Think back before we opened the door, we looked inside the room, right? We would lock being as dusty from the inside anyway. I don't know, I'm not the dust expert expert. Oh yeah, and the locker was already open at the time. Indeed. So there's no way someone could have hidden in in uh, in, uh, yeah, hidden in there until we after we opened the, the door. Yeah, so then what does this handprint mean? Ah, uh, you want my fairy? Uh, someone murdered uh, Sakura while Hina was inside there. Or at least uh, hit her with the uh, hit, her, hit her head with the glass, or something like that. Look around, bro. No, no, then she would know who it is, and I'll just ac ac accuse all three of them. Hmm. Scratch that theory. Someone else was in there then. Blue. There's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. It must have come from Sakura, right? But it doesn't make sense. Why is it so far away from where she died? It's not her blood. Magazine shelf blood stain has been added to the handbook. Uh, anything missing from the magazine shelf? Same shelf full of magazines. There are all different kinds of magazines here. Okay, nothing. Uh, because I check out the body too. Second drew a last bed sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of the blow uh, there's obvious evidence of the blow second that she suffered. Normally I wouldn't have any problem believing that's what killed her, but according to the Monokuma file, she has also vomited blood. And I can't see a trace of blood on her lips for sure. So what would have caused her to vomit blood? The Monokuma file specifically said she didn't suffer any other injuries. Hmm. Maybe getting hit on her head somewhere caused her to start vomiting blood. <laughs> Another chance. We are here. That's fine. However, your eyes have landed on the most interesting location. Interesting. Naturally. Yes, most interesting. Don't you agree? No, I don't think I call it interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood is absolutely to be connected to why she died. Oh wait. Oh. Protein. Protein design axe. Some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance of the room. So... It looks like a protein drink and it's empty. Yeah, the protein drink of poison. Some shit like that. And that's where the blood is coming from. Or maybe they just like gave her like a blow to the head or something to like cover it up. Still doesn't explain why the door is locked, but hey. Second was a drink it, everyone knew how much she loved her protein. And she mentioned it more than once and protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Wrong. I wouldn't take that too hard if I were you. I know. Still, this protein can. Camo 2. Oh, it's got a label on it that says Camo 2. Cam A2, I get oh, whatever. Reminds me, Sakura mentioned how the camera with all kinds of health stuff. She must have gotten this from the cam lab. Just a second. But that's strange. Hmm, what is? Hey. You see what's scattered around the can? Shards of light blue glass must be part of the window I broke to get inside. Correct. But you aren't just scattered around, you're also underneath it. Why does that matter? Because if it was already on the floor before you broke the glass, it shouldn't be under it. I can't though, sometimes I really wonder how your fucking brain works, mate. So... Can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take note of it. I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. Or maybe that will like, cause I put that later? Mm. Important clue, I'm not sure how I see how. Empty protein ring has been added to the two bullet section. Alright. Seems to be everything in here. Let's talk to everyone in here. What? What do you want? You're bothering me. Go away. It's not even trying to hide which despises me. I better get going before I crush my soul completely. Okay. Thanks for nothing. What the heck? We already know who did it. We are Kyotoko or Hero. It had to be one of them. You couldn't send a sight of her. You do agree with me, don't you, Makoto? Uh, well, I don't understand anything for sure without finding out more. Now let me help you find out more. 
You see, Sekiro asked, asked all three of them to meet with him, with her here. You know, you know where? Right there in the recreation room. What? After I went to the nurse's office this morning, Sekiro and I both left together. Right? Well, eventually she went off on her own. But when I saw her again after that, she told me she said she left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by, by noon. Do you have these notes? By noon, the moment Kumafal said that's where she died right around then. I'm telling you the truth. I heard it right from Sakura herself, and I tried to stop her. But she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry, that she just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I stopped her, by force even, this never would have happened. You know. It's impossible not to have regrets, I know. Hmm. But the fact she asked those three to meet her with her, and she asked them to come to the rec room at noon, at the same time and place she ended up dying, might not might be good to confirm what they just heard with the three of them directly. Oh, I'm having an awful hiccups, hiccups right now. <sighs> Hold on. What do you want? You're bothering me. Um, there's something I'd like to, tell, to talk to you about. Hmm. Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the, in the recreation room? <laughs> so you find out. Interesting. Then it's true. Hmm. I did receive a note up to that effect, yes. But what fool would do, the, do what it said and risk being killed by the monster? So you didn't go to see her? <laughs> of course not. I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Yoko says he didn't go to the sea here. Is that the truth? Well, I can't prove, uh, can, until I can prove otherwise, I have no truth but accept this fact. Come on. If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Okay, thanks. However. But for Sakura to have been killed, yeah, she's not going to go down without a fight. It's true. And she certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist, strong in body, mind, and spirit. So how is the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wonder, did someone get your brand? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. Certainly. They wouldn't have. They would have needed to. Have, uh, uh, they would have needed to if they expected to set any chance against her. That's why the poison is a thing. Come on now. Check off's gun and all that. You can't just introduce the poison and not being it. Unless the poison is a red herring, but hey. Wait, this war? Oh wait, the chair. Oh right, the chair. The chair was shoved up against the doorknob so we couldn't get the door open. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the chair. In other words, there was no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. Still not everything. I know, the clock. It's around 1 o'clock right now, according to the Monokuma file sacred died around 12 noon, so roughly an hour ago. Was this when Kyoko and I were moving out to Ego? You did it during the day? Didn't you do that like last night? Uh, whatever. What the heck? Well, you know, we did it. <laughs> Take a joke in here to be done with them. Maybe good to confirm what they just asked directly. Hey. There's also one much else from the body, mind, and spirit. I was okay, but can't get over hand on it. Something like that. Something Certainly. What am I missing here? I can do a lot of in his chest, obviously as in multiple, multiple, not multiple, multiple. No one even have any problem leaving us with kill, and we're going to be looking for a moment for what? You've already seen this, yeah. What am I missing in this room? Just like looking at wide open, handprint, looks like someone touched on the inside, and the hand seems to be quite fresh too. So, however... There's no way to kill a rhythm until we open the door. Yeah. We need to examine the crime scene as much as possible. Fuck's sake. Shots of class, get it all around. All red. Why is there nothing else I can interact with here? Is that just a blood stain again? Also in the front of it, Mr. Pumbo's second right doesn't make any sense, we're so far from she died. I am pressing the exit button, but it's not working. 
Oh wait, maybe the, maybe the window. So the door only way out of the recreation room. The door was never locked, and there's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only notable change in the door is the smashed window, which happened, of course, when I broke it to get, uh, to get inside. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. Having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the door not from turning and the door from opening, and there was no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that, so the killer must have created the locked, uh, the locked door from the inside and from the outside. Because that was the last Listen. thing. Well, my god, have you finished your general investigation? No, I think so, for the most so part. Then. I should probably go talk with people now, I'm on guard duty, so Listen I can leave. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. She's decided. It's got a lot more pushy since we had our issue. Which is right, I have to go talk to the others. Sakura wanted to meet with the other two people. I just need to hear what they need to have to say. Alright, now I can leave. Yep. Those other two probably went back to their rooms. No, 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 I didn't want to go there. Ow. I wanted to check something else myself. It's kind of lame that you put me down on this part floor, though. Oh, I can't. I can't. Get fast enough, no. Oh, I'm being railroaded into this, huh? Okay. Fine, then. Okay, where are these two? Don't go. Let's see, right? Press the doorbell. So funny, you can't use the door to exit, you can only get over the exit button. Oh! I see. After a few seconds. Oh, it's the same fucking. Oh, yeah, 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 it is. Mm. Huh? Who's there? Uh, the most neg negative hour I've ever felt. An hour of total decay. Well, what do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. <laughs> Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood too. I realize I don't go all the objects for a second. I usually leave it the uh, with the exit button. Too much hassle to go to the door. <laughs> this is like easier. She didn't look like she was in a good mood. Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? It's always a bad time to talk to her. Come on now. <laughs> Obviously, you know, I took the sliver right into the hall. Slithering, even. Let me slither in that room, will you? What do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me about something, right? I wanted to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. What? Wow. I don't know what you're talking about. Ryoko already told me she had asked to meet with him. What? Right? She wanted to meet with Master, too? Ah, I, I just said two, didn't I? No, I guess not so totally obvious, then. Pretty much. So, can you tell me about it? <laughs> I admit I did get a note, but I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Yeah, you were too busy going blah 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 and uh, on, on the first floor. Hmm, Togo claims she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? Well, I can until uh, well until I can prove otherwise. I have no choice but to accept it as a fact. <laughs> That's good enough. Then I'm going back to my room. And that Togo quick oh, and that Togo quickly retreated into her room. Togo's account has been added. Now we only have the one guy that was acting suspicious down there. Why is he involved with two fucking cases in a row, actually? That's some bad luck for him, huh? Press the doorbell. After a few seconds. You know? Semikoto, did you need something? Yeah, actually, I wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with, meet with you. What? What? How do you know about that? Could it be... That you maybe gaze into my soul. Every special ab abilities are making in you. Uh, um... But I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she has Bjorka and Toko to come too. When did Sakura tell you that? What? What? Oh well. Uh, um... But she asked me to meet with her, of course. But did she write you a note? Uh... Yeah, a note. She, uh... How about that? she gave it to me in person and she happened to mention, uh, to mention the others like in passing. Gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. So when you went to, so then you went and met with uh, Sakura. You got it all no wrong. way! I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Mm, yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually, last time I saw Ogre was he not got hurt and took her to the nurse's office. D don't look I at me. I haven't seen her since then. 
Hello, Mayor. Could you show me the note you gave you? Uh, oh, well, um, do I still have it? Let's see. Here was feeling around in his pockets. Hey, uh, sorry, on. looks like I don't have it anymore. With a big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. But when he did, something saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Hmm? Uh. Ah! Quick as I went, Hero snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, come on! Uh, sorry, just a bit of trash I've got to throw out. Trash? What? What? Anyway, I can deny that Ogre asked me to meet, uh, meet, 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 meet with me, but I never went. So, well, if you excuse me. He's acting mighty suspicious, huh? Still not sure if I can ever expect this guy to commit a murder because of how much of a dingus he is. Before waiting for a reply, he quickly slipped back into his room. He always said it was just trash, but there was no way that was all there was to it. Pocket, pocket trash. Yeah, pocket sad. So a bit from Toko and Hero, uh, what next? I definitely have to look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe we should find more about the protein can we found on the floor in the recreation room. I'm sure it must have come from the cam lab. I know you're letting me go there. So where should I start? You know, I would have gotten I would have gone that fucking first before I went all the way down here. Oh god, he is there too. Oh boy. Ah, something for what? Ricardo, did you have your eye on the camel up too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think, what, uh, I think what you meant to say was, yes sir, I understand. Do we need to shove a suppository up your ass? Or is it already there? Because you do act like something is up your ass. Oh jeez, that's a lot of goo down here. It's my first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. Should probably take a closer look at it. Looks like the three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. But more importantly right now, What's that powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? You have to be careful to step in it. Why is that three different things for- oh, just someone stepped in it at least. These are footprints, and they're only in the front uh, in front of the left shelf. Hmm. How do those footprints relate to the scene of the wall? We might need to- we might need, yeah, we may need to sketch out the floor plan. By my mean, you, you mean me. Hmm. How kind of you to offer? Put an insufferable smirky enemy a piece of paper and pan. What? Yeah, let's go. Chop, chop. Okay. So we got to work, and before long I'd run up a sketch of the room. Is this gonna get us? Ah, uh, how's this? Not bad. For you, I mean. For me? So when you look at it like this, it's interesting. It would appear that whoever left these footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, and did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. I see. These footprints must be... Look out, are they yours? No. What? Okay, now let me see your shoes and I'll confirm the size for myself. Couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quietly did would be up here, sir. Hmm. Mm, I see, your feet, be do your feet appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit, these are not your footprints. Fortunately. Hmm. But without how these prints are, we should be quite easily able to determine who they belong to. And these prints have certain, uh, a really valuable clue. Why didn't you add the footprints to the thing then? Layer to footprints. Looks like this. When you look at the pattern, whoever left these behind, shell them, that's it. Let's go into the footprints anyway. Bits are really close, you should be able to figure out who they are. Valuable, but not valuable enough to be added to the truth bullet section. I see. It's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. Better not leave a footprint. That me, I see. It's a broken bowl in front of the shelf. This is where all the powder came from. C4. C4 is something else though. It looks like the bowl had a label on it. Chem C4. Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning, checking things out, and at that point, this room wasn't like this. Then this power must have been spilled. So in other words. That's right. It could have been around the time of the incident. Is that really, if that's really when it happened, it must be related to the case somehow. Source of the powder. <laughs> Alright. Should probably take a good hard look at that powder. It's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the in front of the floor. There's also the remains of a bowl. Looks like the bowl was labeled Camp 4. It also looks like there's some footprints in the powder. Again? Come on now. I didn't prompt this. Uh, wherever it was went to the left side of the shelf. Going to be okay, the powder had been left to spill right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. Footprints in the powder.
on this shelf. One looking and tells nothing but dangerous chemicals. Look like poison and low powerful chemicals. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. So I guess I consider this part of the shelving in unit section C. Um, might as well check the other ones too. So on this shelf is, looks like a bunch of chemicals that I have no idea what they are. <laughs> the reagents. But simply they're using experiments to bring out chemical reaction. How have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It's true true must be a bless. Isn't that kinda harsh? What? What, you think studying science is a, science and mathematics has no practical application in the real world? That's fine. The rules of life are most of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. Didn't even say that. Anyway, it doesn't matter right now. Right now we need to focus on the, on the shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter B and a number. So I guess I can be considered of the bottom shelf in section B. Don't say anything out of the ordinary here. In which case, I think, do think I don't have to worry much about the shelf. Uh, the protein one was like labeled A something. Let's see what's on this shelf. Well, that one doesn't belong there, that's for sure. There are all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicine. The protein drink you found in this rock room probably came from this shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled the letter A and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of shelving se units uh, section A. Huh? But wait. One of the bowl areas labeled Chem C9. Oh no, bowl Geno. Could it be someone have uh, could someone have put it here on accident? Should we try to find more about the shelving unit? Looks like it's split into three sections. Section A has the dietary supplements, section B has reagents, and section C has lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from section A. But what concerns me is that in section A there was a bottle with a label from section C. What is a bottle of poison doing from, from section C doing in section A? There's definitely something going on here. Chem lab staff has been added. Okay. If I take a good look at the cam lab, maybe I should take more look, uh, another look around the, uh, the, rec uh, the recreation room. Uh, maybe ball and nine got used for like poisoning, and they like put it back, and then for some reason they like threw in the, uh, the protein bottle there. I don't know. The protein bottle got thrown in after the fact, at least. Not much is obvious. Otherwise, it won't be on top of the glass, so it would be when everyone entered the room. Hmm. Yeah, I like how the door is also injured from the other side. Nice. At least it's consistent. Hey. So, we're going to have your investigation going. I don't know where we are. Hold on, chat. I'm like distracted by cleaning my, my controller. So if you see some dirt on it, I'm like, oh yeah, something's be going now. So Miko, how is your investigation going? I thought Kyoko would have told Toko and Neo told me. I see. I see. So one would be Akia. They're both claiming they didn't see her. They didn't go see her. But it's not a convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's lying. Anyway. Well, I've made some progress on my own. Sakura's body had shelved with magazine in the Monokuma balls. These things have been revealed in new clues. You do well to look over them one more time. Bruh. Now I want to look at this. A2. Yeah. Some kind of plastic container rolling around in the room. So Looks like a protein drink and it's empty. Nothing new about this, huh? Okay. Hey. Correct. Glass. So alright, alright. Bottles you said. I think Yoko said you had a new clue for the Monokuma balls. Something new, something new. Hmm. There's a second hey. one missing. So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the balls. Pay okay, for okay. Is that bottle with a stick of C4? Or is that like a Monokuma ball reused? There's a hidden correlation between all the balls. Pay careful attention, you should find it. Yeah, because the second one missing. Correlation. Um, so that's got placed in the... I didn't have that placed there after the murder. Is there something in it? Hey Kyoko, can you just tell me what it is? So... I don't mind guiding you towards clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusion so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. And it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer. <laughs> I do trust you to a degree, otherwise I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree. 
Monokuma balls have been updated in the tree section. Hey. Actually, there's one other thing that the Monokuma balls is bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? An experiment? Anyway. Can you get them up all the pieces of broken Monokuma balls? I'll try to get them off smaller pieces too. Hmm? You should it's okay to mess around with the crime scene like that. That doesn't matter. We're ready to do a thorough investigation, so that's fine. And this obnoxious Miyake is not here, so. So then. Anyway, I need to do something from the chem lab while I'm, while I'm gone. Try to get them up all the glass. My dead kick will have to room. I really don't know what it is about, what this is about, but what choice do I have? I better just do it. Took the broom and dustpan and got to work. It's like some clue hidden in the ball in the cam lab. Hmm. Took the broom and dustpan and got to work collecting all the broken ball pieces. Stop missing. And just as I finished up, so to keep you waiting. So then. Is everything ready? Then let's get to work. So what kind of experiment are we doing? In other words. I got a skill from the cam lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Compare weights of what? <laughs> The pieces of glass you collected and one of the Monokuma balls is still intact. Why do you want to do that? That's the point of the experiment, and it will make sense when we're done. But you're insinuating that she- Listen. Nice. When you're insinuating that, uh, that Sakura drank a, a, sh a shot of, gla of glass? Nah. First let's compare the weight of the two normal Monokuma balls. I mean, it's a ball plus figure. It's balanced. In other words. Which means each Monokuma ball weighs about the same. Which makes sense. The Monokuma figures inside are basically the same, and nothing else could really affect the weight. So then. So now here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on one side of the scale. Now what might we expect to see? Well, the so normal assumption would be, either they balance out or the pieces I collected will be lighter. I did my best to get all of them, but there's a chance I could have missed some of them here and there. So then. Let's give it a try. What do you have here? That's not how it's supposed to go. Huh? The broken pieces I have here? How is that possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. In other words. The results of our experiment and the correlation between each of the balls put all together. Hey. And I believe you are right of a very pervasive conclusion. So what do you think? It's all in you. Huh. Hmm. Spots in front of the magazine shelf and I assume there's a plot. Why is it so far away from where she died? Kirk said the magazine shelf is adding a clue of some kind. Hmm, clue clue. This magazine is upside down. Did someone put it up back where they on accident? What is it? Please, magazine. Miss Muscle. Miss Muscle appears. Oh, who's that? Okay. Hey. If something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore the detail. Uh, it doesn't need a lunge bank. Yeah, you're right. Picked up the inverted magazine and flipped through it. Toko. Do do this is. One of the pages near the center of the magazine would have been written in blood, bo bold bloody letters. It's a toko. Could this be? That's a misdirection. A dying message? Correct. Then I do the pig, you found it. Why would you, why would you ha- Plastic bag has so much weight. If she really wrote the name uh, of the murderer in there, why the fuck would you put it back and hide it? Seems kinda, kinda counterintuitive. Because you want people to find it and other people overlook this. Yeah, goes this. So... It's a neat and dying message. Someone used to have bring it, uh, a finger to write it. Dying message. However... But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like it when I found it a little while ago. Alright, fairy time. Sakura got poisoned. She knew she was dying. She took one of the balls to, 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 to like, cut her finger with or something. No, I don't want to explain the mess in the, uh, in the camera room. But she would like use a uh, like a finger to write it, which explains where the blood is right there, and then put it back. And then set on the uh, the, cha the chair and died. Maybe I don't know. Let me choose to put it back exactly as I found it for the benefit of others. One would come looking. Um. Uh, is that? It says Toko, right? Yeah, it looks like it. What the heck? Then the killer, right? No, it hasn't been confirmed yet. It wouldn't be the first time. It would be like a dying message. So <laughs> it's settled. She's the killer for sure. It's conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. 
can see why you would think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, that makes me all the more suspicious. Yeah. Pretty sure it's not Doko, which is like something to throw us off. Alright, now what? In other words. The result of our experiments and the correlation between each of the balls all put together, and I believe you will arrive at a very safe hey. conclusion. What do you think? It's all in you. Experiment should be of course we're heavier than one common ball. Balls have something in common. Why was the other piece then? It's apparently an important secret hidden there. Leave the area? Leave the area. Oh, back to the camera. Still the body itself left? I guess. I'll get back to that in a bit though. Hold on. Wait. Alright, it's just that room. Makes sense. So I'm seeing myself just gonna know how big it is. I didn't click the shelf, I clicked the ball. Oh, it oh. Oh. No, fuck me, I guess. Can I, um. Not quite the same. It's not quite the same. No, oops, wrong button. So it's like the balls, the magazines, and the body. Okay. Well, I just wanted to check a ball in the uh, in the shelf again, but I couldn't approach it anymore. According to the cook, there's still something we discovered about Sakura's body. Just a second. Just standing over the space isn't going to help you figure anything out. Well, I know, but... Hey. Don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? Whew. It's not getting around it. And like me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body, so it's completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I grew perversely used to. Although, there's still some times. I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it's it. It's true. Certainly normal, and how can you? So... I imagine because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. What? Sorry, never mind. Hey. More importantly, look here. Hey, it's powder. Your shoes? Correct. You see that yellow powder in her own, on her instep? Yeah, it really stands out. I see. The powder is clue number one. Yellow powder, as we know it. Hey. Next is the wound to her head, look carefully. It's true. Actually, even without telling you that, it's incredibly, incredibly difficult to spot, so let me just explain. It would seem... It would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead two blows to that. Two blows. Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there was one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of her hands were spotless, there was absolutely no trace of blood on either one, so that means she couldn't have written the message. It's true. So that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. Uh, I guess you got a little bit two balls and that like explains the amount of uh, shots. Hmm. I can't believe she was able to learn all that by just looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled it off. Still doesn't explain where that last uh, the little Monokuma figure is though. Oh, that does it. Oh, gosh. I really have no idea what the fuck is going on here. It's going to be a fun trail. You caught me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring, I couldn't stay awake. Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, then let's begin the class trial. You know where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. So many time, but the mystery of the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever happens will have to happen at the class trail. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. The trail is about 90 minutes to hours, so you can do that plus lead up to the next chapter-ish. Yeah, I'm going to do that tomorrow, yeah. I'm going to get down there uh, to get it started, but... Uh, uh, you know, I'm just going to save here as usual. Just going to save here as usual. No, I don't have any ghosts when I catch a machine anymore, so I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, that's going to be for tomorrow. I'm coming through, um, 
put a little bit more time in this game so that it goes by faster. That I'm not still playing this in fucking December. Uh, I might do two streams of this next week and then one stream of... Um, so soccer and just like leave it at that. I might stream less next week anyway. But alright. Double safe to be sure. Tomorrow this class trial time then. Let's see how that goes. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you for part two tomorrow then. Uh-huh.